A vague silhouette of a majestic blue wolf started to appear in front of Ching Wu along with its frightening howl. Its transparent body also began to solidify. Though Tang Li Shui did not know what exactly that was but her beastly instinct as fox screaming in danger. However, since she already took the quest to defeat Ching Wu then she must face it to the end. Tang Li Shui put all 67 of her free stat points into her agility stats increased it from 93 to 160 combined with her innate agility that tripled her agility stats. Her current agility equal with 480 points of agility. Come on, bring it on, Ice Wolf. Go, Ice Bolt. The current Ching Wu cannot see anything with his eyes but it did not mean that his martial soul, Ice Wolf cannot see either. At first Tang Li Shui still looked down on the Ching Wu's blue-colored wolf despite its dangerous aura since its size only as big as a Labrador and it was impossible for its burly body to move as fast as her. Her quest was also to only defeat Ching Wu, not to defeat Ching Wu and his martial soul. So Tang Li Shui thinks she only needs to ignore the blue wolf and attack Ching Wu directly until he fell unconscious. However now, Tang Li Shui realized how naive she was as soon as the battle started again. Ice Bolt. The ice wolf opened its mouth and shot three sharp icicles in succession toward Tang Li Shui. Holy shit. Dodge. Run. Tang Li Shui activated her, sprint. In an instant ice wolf opened its mouth and dashed to the right side as fast as she can. Bang. 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 Three sharp icicles pierced deep into the ground where Tang Li Shui stood before. Again. Shoot. Shoot. Shoot until that fucking fox filled with holes, Ching Wu shouted crazily, his appearance right now really looks like an insane beggar. The ice wolf started to shoot the ice bolt, non-stop like a machine gun. Each time it shot there would be three icicles flew toward Tang Li Shui. Tang Li Shui ran around and zigzag swiftly sometimes to the right, sometimes to the left. Her speed was truly too fast to be seen made her resemble a white lightning in the middle of a sunny day. Damn. This is the first time I am really glad that my body size is so small like a cat. If my body is big as a horse, some of those ice bullets would have hit me already. Unfortunately, although she was very agile with her tiny sized body made all of those flying ice bullets very hard to hit her but she also cannot come closer to Ching Wu. Damn it, you want to play with bullets? Okay, we will play with bullet then? Mirror of the Moon, Active, Copy Start, Name, Ice Bolt, Type active skill copy completed you want to play with bullet huh eat this you bastard ice bolt active tang li shui opened her mouth and shot one sharp icicle to the ice wolf yes unlike the ice wolf that could shot three icicles at once tang li shui could only shot one at a time her icicle was also smaller than the ice wolf about only half of the size however Tang Li Shui's sharp icicle moved several times faster than the ice wolf's icicle so Tang Li Shui's sharp icicle packed with more strength due to its speed. Tang Li Shui's ice bolt was impossible to dodge, boom. The sturdy ice wolf shattered like an ice statue when Tang Li Shui's ice bullet hit it right at its neck. Ah! Ching Wu screamed in pain and dropped down to the floor while holding onto his head when his martial soul shattered by Tang Li Shui's ice bolt. After his body twitched several times, he fell completely unconscious. Ding. Quest completed. Gained. Level plus 2, stat point plus 3 0, plus 8, skill point plus 6, plus 2, 50 deity coins, plus 1 2. Evaluation. Excellent. Added additional reward. Bronze lottery ticket. Ding. Congratulation. You achieved level 6, plus 3 0 stat points plus 6 skill points. Ooh, what is this evaluation? There is an additional reward too? So if I completed the quest quicker and more efficient, I could get additional reward? Tang Li Shui walked toward the unconscious Ching Wu absent-mindedly while in deep thought. But unfortunately, I still cannot evolve yet. It looks like my guess is right. The second evolution need my level to reach at least 11 or maybe even higher. Forget it then. At least. I only need 5 more level anyway. Tang Li Shui was rummaging all over Ching Wu's body and clothes. She managed to find 6 bottles full of body tempering pills on Ching Wu. When Tang Li Shui turned her body around wanted to leave, she stopped suddenly. Wait, it would be such a waste to let this chance go away. 
and there is no guarantee that Devil Shorty will not take the body tempering pills on them if he regains his consciousness later, right? In the end, Tang Li Shui looted all the bottles of body tempering pills from all the unconscious people there and happily pocketing another 10 bottles of body tempering pills. She put all the bottles into a white robe that she took from one of the unconscious people and use it like a sack to bring all 16 bottles away with her mouth. Tang Li Shui went back into Xiao Hei's room but since still noon right now, Xiao Hei had not returned yet so she was alone in the room. Nya ha ha ha. This queen is rich now. 216 body tempering pills in total. Wait a minute. Isn't that mean if I finish them all I will gain another 216 points of strength? Nya ha ha ha. Eat. Eat. Eat it all. Express gained. Strength plus one. Express gained. Strength plus one. Express gained. Strength plus one. Unfortunately, Tang Li Shui's hope shattered when her strength stopped growing when it reached 120 but still 40 more strength status was actually an enormous boost. Sigh, so this pill stopped enhanced my strength now huh? But really, I am getting sick eating it and why the hell I still have not leveled up yet. But it actually made sense since the express needed to increase from level 6 to level 7 probably more than a dozen of times express needed to increase level 3 to level 4. Congratulation, you achieved level 7 plus 1 5 stat points, plus 3 skill points. Tang Li Shui managed to level up only once when she finished all of the body tempering pills. Her stomach bloated up like a toad as she lying on her back lazily on the top of the bed. Erg, my stomach, I want to puke. No, if I puke it out now all of my effort will be wasted. Um, if I puke it out, will my level go back down again to level 6 as a result? Erg, meh, not going to try it anyway. Only at this moment that Tang Li Shui really felt that using quest to level up was the most correct way. She could level up while gaining more stat points and skill points. If she was doing it well, she would even get additional reward for it. Sigh, well, I already tired of fighting for now. How about exploring this sex farm to relax and sightseeing for once in a while? Ding. Quest. Explorer. Explore a Sura demon sex farm. Beware. Danger at every corner. Difficulty. Hard. Requirement. Hide. Odorless. And. Trail cover. Skills. Reward. Level plus 3. Plus 1. Stat point plus 4 5. Plus 1 1. Skill point plus 9. Plus 2. 150. Plus 3 8. Deity coins. Bloody hell. It's hard difficulty. Can someone tell me how the hell could exploring the farm be so dangerous? Dash 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 dash. In Xiao Hei's room at night, Xiao Hei pushed Xiao Bai onto the bed forcefully. Xiao Bai, now you cannot run away anymore. Xiao Hei sneered at Tang Li Shui. Wait, what? What are you going to do to me? You, you, pervert Xiao Hei. Xiao Hei was laughing and started to undress his clothes one by one, started from his robe, then his pants until he was completely naked. Wow, look at that six packs and he is not a small sausage at all. SSSSHHHH. That must be a long loaf bread size. Xiao Hei, I, I am actually not ready for this, but, but if it's you then I am okay with this. Also, this is my first time so, please be gentle to me. Xiao Hei got into the bed and embraced Tang Li Shui full of gentleness and splash, threw her into a barrel bathtub full of hot water on the center of the room. Cough, cough, cough. You jerk, didn't I say it, please be gentle to me, ha, huh? why are you so rough? Xiao Hei also jumped into the barrel bathtub and took out a soft brush then started to scrub Tang Li Shui's furry body. Scrub, 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 ouch, 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 I said be gentler you jerk, it really is hurt. Xiao Bai, look you are so dirty now, where are you playing today, huh, there is even some dry blood on your fur, you better be careful. 
Listen up Xiao Bai if you really caught some lice then this seat will not sleep with you anymore from now on, Xiao Hei said while laughing mischievously and scrubs harder. What the hell, when this queen asked you to sleep with her, you are the one that always wanted to sleep while hugging this queen tightly each night, ow, 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 stop it, be gentler, you asshole. Headache, Tang Li Shui really wanted to puke out several mouthfuls of blood out now. She recalled her experience when she saved Xiao Hei in the Moonlight Forest before. The quest at that time also, hard, difficulty. It was a really close call back then. She was almost failed even with, Lucky Sticker, health. Without, Lucky Sticker, she definitely must search the antidote deeper into the Moonlight Forest that full of demonic beasts. The risk was unimaginable high and with one little slip, Tang Li Shui's own life will be lost in vain. She panicked for a bit but when she remembers that she still had, greater lucky sticker, in her inventory, she quickly calmed down. It was her absolute life-saving talisman and her only cheating item to complete the quest unscathed like when she saved Xiao Hei before. But Tang Li Shui remembers that, lucky sticker, has some kind of buff duration and it was not too long only 10 minutes. So she immediately decided that she would not use it unless the situation was very urgent and she had no other choice anymore. She also decided to spend a few days to familiarize herself with her new must-have skill for the quest before going to explore the farm later. Tang Li Shui used two of her skill points to bot, odorless, skill and, trail cover, skill. You have gained odorless ability, you have gained trail cover ability. Since I already have three of the skills that I plan to combine later, let's just buy two other skills and see if it really could be combined into an OP divine ability. Once again Tang Li Shui spent another two of her skill points this time to bot, silencer, skill and, erasing presence, skill without any hesitation. You have gained silencer ability, you have gained erasing presence ability. Stealth, LV1, odorless, LV1, trail cover, LV1, silencer, LV1, erasing presence, LV1, can be combined into divine ability, ethereal form with cost 42 skill points. Do you want to combine it now? Yes, yes, yes. It really can be combined into one super op divine ability. But what the hell? 42 skill points. Holy shit. Even, innate. Agility, only cost 10 skill points. Well, makes sense since this divine ability sounds super op. But not enough skill points. Let's try answering, yes, yes. Sorry, your current skill points is not enough yet. You can try leveling up all the required skills to reduce the cost for combination. Note 1. Each skill's level up will reduce skill point cost by 1. If you upgrade the skill after it reached mastered, the cost will be reduced even further according to the upgrade cost. Note 2. The minimum cost for the combination is 0. If your skill level is too high or you upgrade it too many times, the rest skill points will not get any refund. Hum, wait a minute, so the combination cost should be 50 skill points, but since I leveled up the, hide, skill to mastered it reduced by 5 skill points then I upgrade it to, stealth, spending 3 skill points so now the combination cost also reduced by 3 skill points, 50 minus 8 equals 42 skill points as the combination cost? Tang Li Shui's eyes turned brighter as the gear in her head started to turn at full speed until she jumped in happiness when she realized something. Muahahaha. Then if I level all 4 other required skills to master it I will get 20 skill points cost reduced. 42 minus 20 equals 22. Now it seems more reachable. I only need 22 skill points to combine them. Nya ha ha ha. I am so smart. Now I already have 13 skill points. I only need 9 more skill points. Tang Li Shui smiled happily and decided to check her current status before going to sleep. Species. Moon Fox. Grade. Common, level 7, Samaritan. Cultivation technique. None martial arts. None divine ability. Mirror of the moon, ice bolt. Innate. Agility. Stats. HP. 4500-4500 strength. 120 agility. 160. Toughness. 60, skills. Bite, mastered, sharp claws. LV1. Stealth. LV1. Sprint. LV2. Identify. LV3. Herbalism. LV3. Odorless. LV1. Trail cover. 
LV1, silencer, LV1, erasing presence, LV1. Stats point, 83 skill point, 13, item, Immortal Worlds Newbie Guide, 2x2 two two times express card, 1 hour, 7x recovery pill, 5x stamina pill, 1x bad luck sticker, 1x greater lucky sticker, 1x bronze lottery ticket, 1x silver lottery ticket, 1x cultivation voucher, 510 deity coins, level 10 beginner gift package. After grinning satisfied at her current strength, Tang Li Shui snuggled onto Xiao Hei's body that already sleeping beside her and sleep comfortably on her favorite warm pillow. The following morning next day, Xiao Hei woke Tang Li Shui up for eating after preparing her favorite roasted meat by himself and he quickly left after taking his own breakfast with Tang Li Shui. Tang Li Shui also started to familiarize herself with all of her new skills after Xiao Hei left. After experimented with it a few times, Tang Li Shui quickly realized that no skills in the system that was useless. All of them were extremely useful and truly miraculous. For example this, odorless, skill. It could isolate all kind of smell from Tang Li Shui's body making her completely untrackable by any sense of smell no matter how sharp it was. Tracking her using dog, wolf, or bear's sense of smell would be impossible from now on once she activated it. For her, trail cover, skill, it was even more bizarre. Tang Li Shui experimented by walking on the sand. Normally she would leave her footprints everywhere but with, trail cover, nothing came out. Even Tang Li Shui herself confused on how this skill works and she believed with this skill, not even a modern fingerprint detector would be able to track her. As for this, silencer, skill, this was the most useful skill amongst all in Tang Li Shui's opinion. She experimented this skill using her, sharp claws, to nearby expensive looking vase and the result? No grating sounds coming out, not even a tiny bit of sounds. Tang Li Shui threw the vase toward the pillar, praying. Hum, so it creates a sound now. It looks like only the things still in contact with my body that will not make any sounds. Let's try it again. Tang Li Shui held another expensive looking vase with her two tiny cute paws and started to smash it toward the ground. It broke into many tiny pieces but miraculously no sounds coming out this time. Lastly for this, erasing presence, Tang Li Shui did not know what this skill was for yet, but since all other skills were so useful then it was impossible for this skill to be useless. And for once this time Tang Li Shui was actually correct, the foundation establishment cultivator above or some high-ranked demonic beasts would develop their own, divine sense, and use it like their own eyes. They could scan using their divine sense and find any hidden traps or hidden enemies inside their range of divine sense even if it was something invisible. The true function of this, erasing presence, was to make the user undetectable with any kind of, divine sense, no matter how sensitive or sharp it was. Well, I already familiarize myself with all the new skills, except erasing presence, so I only need to wait until dark. Hopefully, any people and beast in the farm would be sleeping at night. Oh, I almost forgot to upgrade my, bite, skill. I will need it to bite and eat some naughty demonic beast later haha. Bite skill already reached mastered. Do you want to upgrade it to rip with cost 3 skill points? Yes. Bite ability upgraded to rip ability. While waiting until nightfall, Tang Li Shui decided to read her Immortal World's newbie guide lazily about Martial Soul. Even though she still has a long way to regain her human form and have her own Dantian but she really wants to know some information about it. Martial soul for humans was the same as divine ability for beasts. What the hell? I thought only the deity candidate as awesome as me only have divine abilities, so all the beasts have it too. Tang Li Shui was wrong about this, for savage beast. The probability for awakening their own unique divine ability was 0%. So amongst all savage beasts. Only Tang Li Shui has her own unique divine ability. While the probability for all the demonic beasts to awakening their own unique divine ability was 30% so only 30% of demonic beasts could use divine ability. As for the spirit beasts, the probability was 100%. Yes. All the spirit beasts have their own op unique divine ability for sure. Of course, all of this did not apply for the evolution using the system. In other words, each time Tang Li Shui evolves, she will definitely 100% gain one divine ability. 
with the condition that the species of fox that she chose as her own path of evolution have their own unique divine ability to awaken if not, then sorry, she still would not get any. In other words, if she chose some cheap evolution path without any requirement for evolution, she would not get any divine ability. sh asterisk t. I almost miss my current divine ability. This system is really full of deadly trap. I need to be really careful in the future. Come back to martial souls topic. Each person has their own unique martial soul and martial soul would usually take a beast form while some rarer one would take a plant form. Martial soul also divided by the rank from 1 to 10. Rank 1 is the lowest, while rank 10 is the highest. Martial soul rank itself related to many things. The higher the rank of the martial soul was the stronger the strength of their martial soul would be. The faster their cultivation will be. The faster their martial arts comprehension would be too, and many other more. In a mortal world, the one that has a low rank martial soul was always called a waste or a trash while the one that has a high rank martial soul would be hailed as a genius. But the words after that make even Tang Li Shui dumbfounded. However, it was all no more than a mortal world's people narrow-mindedness and nothing more just like a frog at the bottom of the well. On the contrary to them, in divine world the lower the grade of martial soul the more favored they will be. The one that possessed the lowest grade martial soul will definitely be recruited as a personal disciple of some high-ranked god. Damn, now, this really makes me really curious and want to know why? Out of curiosity, Tang Li Shui continues to read it after having her dinner. She finds out that reason was actually really simple. Immortal world's people think that martial soul's rank will be like that for the rest of their life but in divine world it was different. The people in divine world could use some heavenly herbs or divine pills to evolve martial soul to the higher grade. Yes, grade. Unlike in immortal world, the people of divine world apparently applying beast's grade to the martial soul too like the lowest would be, poor, then, common, and so on. The most important thing was when the martial soul evolves to the higher grade, they still retain their unique skills and passive skills from before. Imagine if a glacial sparrow had, ice, water immunity, as its passive ability and it will evolve to true phoenix in the end. The phoenix's element was fire so normally its weakness would be ice, water but with, ice, water immunity. That logic will no longer apply. Moreover, with its inherited unique skills from when it was still glacial sparrow back then, the phoenix could also use ice, water attack skills made its attack pattern more rich and unpredictable. This is crazy. Then if the martial soul evolves several times into several different types and inherited all of their immunity, too frightening to think of, it will be basically immune to all elements? Even Tang Li Shui hoped that she would get the lowest grade, poor, martial soul later if it was really like this. Martial soul, arg, impatient, I really want to get it now. But no matter how invincible the martial soul is, the user would still become its weak point in the end, sigh. Tang Li Shui remembered Xiao Hei's martial soul at that time when he battled above Moonlight Forest. That magnificent nine petal blood lotus looks so strong and majestic, its martial soul's rank is definitely very high. When Xiao Hei unleashed its skill, he shouted, Devour! At that time, that must be the blood lotus unique skill, so cool. In the end, Xiao Hei almost defeated because his body critically injured so Tang Li Shui still thinks invincible martial soul weakness was actually its master itself but when she read even further she quickly realized that she was incredibly wrong. Dumbfounded. Tang Li Shui read it even more carefully from the important parts. The way to use martial soul was divided into three according to its mastery. The first way was to summon it out. This was the easiest way and how amateur use their martial soul. The disadvantage was once the martial soul destroyed. It will heavily damage the master's soul too so using it this way was actually like using a double-edged sword. Tang Li Shui remember what happened with Qing Wu when she destroyed his martial soul yesterday and felt a bit guilty about it since the damaged soul would take far longer to recover than normal wound. It would probably take several years for Qing Wu to recover from his soul's wound and during that time he would not be able to break through or use his martial soul. The second way was to partially merge it with your soul and compress its power. In this case, the martial soul would take shape a weapon that you most proficient with. Only a true genius could use it this way. For example, the master practiced sword martial arts countless times, then the martial soul would take sword form when its power compressed. 
The advantage of this form is that it would be far harder almost impossible to destroy the martial soul. Of course if the enemy cultivation far higher than him, it would still be destroyed easily. And the master can still freely use its unique skills. Again Tang Li Shui remembered the blood red sword Xiao He used before. Damn, that crimson red sword must be his compressed martial soul, Xiao He. So you are a genius? Tisk, envy, hate, humph. The third way was the most difficult one. Even a genius would need several enlightenments and long practice to be able to use it. It was to fully merge the martial soul with the master's soul along with the master body. This process called, assimilate, not only the master would get all of its martial soul's passive skills and unique skills, his, her strength would be strengthened many folds. Damn, this, assimilate mode if the martial soul has all kinds of immunity then, the martial soul's master would be really invincible? Tang Li Shui was wagging her furry tail in excitement when she read this but she quickly calmed down since she still has a long way to go. She did not even have her own martial soul for now. Imagine if this queen, no, this deity has the invincible martial soul combined along with the godly divine abilities. This deity will definitely become the strongest deity ever exists. Like the guide said the humans have their martial souls but the beasts have their divine abilities. But this strongest fox deity would have both of them, and both would be the strongest one. Tang Li Shui wanted to read about the beast's divine abilities but she realized that the time has come for her to go since the sky already dark long ago. She closed her Immortal World's newbie guide and threw it back into her system inventory before heading toward the Asura Demon Sect's farm. With her current speed, Tang Li Shui managed to reach the farm's gate with only in a few minutes. The farm was actually very vast with many large separated buildings. There was a large pig pen, cow shed, and hen house on the front side and Tang Li Shui finished explore them all in less than 10 minutes with her, stealth, skill activated. But she did not know why but the deeper she entered this farm, the more dangerous she felt. Especially, the big building in the deeper side of the farm with the dim light and how quiet it was. She felt something weird would actually jump up to her from the corner. Tang Li Shui gulped her saliva and steeled her resolve. Come on Li Tang Shui, oh no, I mean Tang Li Shui, be brave, it is only a farm. What are you afraid of, you coward? There should be only pigs, chickens, cows, and other meat ingredients here. She began with the horse stable since it was the closest to her. This time she was being more careful and walked slower as she activated her, stealth, before entering. She walked step by step carefully checking and turning her head right and left, again and again. See, there are only horses here, right? Ha ha, ha ha ha. Be whoosh. Bang. Tang Li Shui's body flew suddenly and hit the nearby wall hard. Minus 870. HP. 3634,500. Holy shit. What the hell has happened? It did not take long for Tang Li Shui to know who attacked her as she stared agape to the overbearing creature in front of her. Wah, the hell, is that a griffin? That is a griffin, isn't it? When she panicked, her, identify, skill activated automatically. Species, Wind Lion Eagle, Grade, Uncommon, Level, 21. HP, 16,500, 16,500. The creature in front of her has a half lion half eagle body, its size was three to four times bigger than an ox, and it was also equipped with a wide pair of eagle wings. Roar, another beast roared so loud that it made Tang Li Shui's vision darkened and almost fainted on the spot. Minus 920 HP, 2710 4500 just from the sound Tang Li Shui immediately knew that it was from another demonic beast and she was really sure that she did not want to know what kind of beast is that. Run, but she immediately aware that before she would die at this rate before she reached the door. Tang Li Shui instantly remembered the skill required for this quest, odorless, and trail cover. She swiftly activated the two of those skills along with her stealth, while dashed to the corner of the stable. Tang Li Shui already tested it before, even though stealth cannot be activated at the same time as sprint, but it could actually be activated with odorless trail cover silencer, and erasing presence without any problem. However, activating five skills at the same time would drain her stamina far too fast and she could only maintain it for less than three minutes so she usually only activate stealth. 
The wind lion eagle and its friend, the black tiger was still attacking madly but they were only attacking blindly this time without any clear target. Tang Li Shui sighed in relief. It looks like those two only mad because they lost her track when she used the three skills. She checked the black tiger with her, identify, after calmed herself down. Species, black demon tiger, grade, uncommon, level, 22. HP, 17,400, 17,400s. A vicious looking black tiger with a scorpion tail. A pair of black raven wings. And its blood colored eyes really make Tang Li Shui scared. It was also even bigger than Wind Lion Eagle. Tang Li Shui gulped her saliva when she explored this horse stable. Apparently, these two were not the only demonic beasts in here. There were several tens of demonic beasts here, and all of them, uncommon, grade, all of them actually one grade higher than her. After exploring every inch and corner of the stable slowly and carefully step by step, Tang Li Shui took three hours to actually exploring the stable, of course, she used many of her time to rest and recharge her stamina since she needed to activate three of her skills at once when exploring. She sighed again in relief after she managed to step outside. Damn it, what the hell is this place? How the hell there are so many? Tang Li Shui stunned silly once again when she saw the signboard in front of the stable. Mount stable all the mounts are docile as long as you bring food for them. Do you think I am a groom or stable boy? Where can I find foods for those big guys? Tang Li Shui spotted three other big solid buildings and suddenly she felt like this quest was actually too hard for her to handle. She only entered this stable that all of the mounts marked as docile but she already loses half of her health already while the other three judging from its gloomy aura and invisible pressure must have higher difficulty than this one. Oh my god, I really make a mistake this time, but I do not have any other choice. If I do not finish this quest, I will not be able to take any quest from now on. Sigh, the good news is after I finish this quest, I will be able to evolve once again. Work hard, Tang Li Shui. Here goes nothing, go. Tang Li Shui left terrible pain across her body and she checked her current HP. HP, 2710 4500. She was afraid that someone or some beasts would ambush her again in some building. Should I eat recovery pill to heal all of my wounds? But I only have seven of these things. After hesitating for a while, Tang Li Shui gritted her teeth and decided to eat the recovery pill, since she thought she would probably get it again after reaching level 10 and open the LV10 beginner package later. Tang Li Shui popped the recovery pill into her mouth full of unwillingness. She already witnessed how miraculous this pill was when she gave it to Xiao Hei before when he was critically wounded but watching how it works and let her body experience it by herself were two different things. She immediately realized that all her wounds stopped bleeding and her pain vanished like smoke, her wounds scabbed in a few seconds then fully healed before even one minute passed. Her beautiful silver fur even grew back again on the place where she got her wounds before and she was as good as new in only a few minutes. HP 4500 4500s, damn. This is really good stuff. I must use these things more carefully in the future. I am afraid I will be targeted by people for these if I use it in front of anyone. Tang Li Shui wanted to finish this quest as fast as she can so she did not waste any more time and heading to the next building. Actually, there were many other buildings in this farm but most of them were the huts for all the caretakers to live in. Tang Li Shui did not feel any need to check all of them one by one since the quest only said, explore Asura Demon Sect's farm, and not to explore every building in Asura Demon Sect's farm, so she only needs to check all the important buildings in the farm. The next building was a 7th floor tall pagoda. At first, Tang Li Shui felt something was weird with this building when she saw the tall pagoda from the distance. But after she arrived at the near pagoda, she immediately aware that this seven-floor tall pagoda actually did not have any window at all. What a weird place, I have a bad feeling about this. This time Tang Li Shui already learned her lesson from before and looking for some kind of warning notice or clue about it. There was no signboard this time but she managed to find a warning notice written on a piece of paper pasted on beside the double door gate. Beware of your head, please wear a steel helmet before entering. Do not forget to close the door after getting in or out. No shit. With this tiny body of mine if I wear a human steel helmet then I will not even be able to see the road in front of me. Moreover, 
where I could find a steel helmet in the middle of the night like this? Tang Li Shui thought this tall pagoda would be locked and she must search for the key first but she was wrong this time. She could push the door with her tiny furry paws and enter easily. So dark here, is there some kind of bulb or light here? She cannot see anything inside the pagoda at all since it was so dark without any speck of light here. However, she still remembers about, beware of your head, warning so she walking carefully with her head dropped down as low as possible. It was already human nature, air and beast nature if someone warned them, watch out for your head, they would stop paying attention to the ground and focused their attention to anything above their head, that was including the current Tang Li Shui too. The warning was not a trap at all. On the contrary, it was really correct but unfortunately Tang Li Shui's luck already up this time. Clang, ouch, fuck, what the hell is this? Her surrounding was so dark that she did not know what she hit just now but it looks like some kind of metal plate or basin, but that was not important anymore right now. Because, hundreds tiny pairs of green eyes lit up at the same time after Tang Li Shui accidentally knocked on the metal basin. From the wall to the ceiling all covered by the tiny pair of green eyes and Tang Li Shui also realized that this pagoda was actually only one floor since no floor separated it at all. Oh, my, god, what the hell is that? Retreat? Tang Li Shui dashed toward the gate with her full speed. She also activated her, sprint, swiftly without any hesitation, since this was not the time to worry about breaking her, stealth, skill with it. Countless tiny pairs of green eyes flew toward her with frightening speed at the same time like a flood. Only countless faint sounds of wing flapping can be heard. Mommy, this is beyond frightening. Okay, help, caretaker, groom, keeper. After exited from the pagoda, she quickly pulled the door with her tiny paws and closed it. She could even hear countless banging sound from behind the sturdy door after that. Fortunately, Tang Li Shui did not enter too deeply into the pagoda yet or she would already be caught by those things by now. Sigh, now I know why to open the door I must push it instead of pull it from outside and why it is not locked. If the door can be pushed from inside then those countless little critters would already escape from there, and there is no need to lock it since they cannot pull the door from inside with their tiny wing anyway. Bang! 560 HP. 3,944,500 ths Ah. Tang Li Shui's tiny body rolled a few meters on the ground as she felt something heavy hit her from her right side. When she saw what exactly that hit her, she realized that one of the little critters from inside the pagoda escaped outside with her. Species. Flashbat. Grade. Uncommon. Level. 5. HP. 7,500 7,500s. A black bat as big as an adult palm but it has a pair of sharp horns on the top of its head and that tiny pair of green eyes that glow like a pair of fireflies was very creepy. Another, uncommon, grade demonic beasts. But its level along with its health is quite low for a, uncommon, grade demonic beast. Let's do this then, fight. Tang Li Shui could actually run from it but she was afraid that this escaped little critter would create a commotion and draw unwanted attention before she could finish her quest so, in the end, she decided to slay it. However, Tang Li Shui did not know that this flashback was actually used for delivering a message or letter. It did not afraid sun at all, could see clearly at night, and the most important of all, it was unbelievably fast. Unfortunately, this flashback has low defense and health, in short, this flashback was actually the same type as Tang Li Shui, high speed but brittle defense. Also, this flashbat has an important ability that Tang Li Shui did not have, flight. Damn it, I can't reach that little critter at all. The flashbird dived down suddenly at breakneck speed toward Tang Li Shui. Bang, 620 HP. 3,324,500 ths again Tang Li Shui threw several meters behind because of the impact. Damn it, I must think something fast. The gear in Tang Li Shui's head was spinning at full speed. This was not in the game where she can spam her skills hoping it to hit the enemy and her enemy was also not some dumb AI from some action RPG game. Uncommon, grade beast's intelligence already quite high although still cannot be compared to humans but it could still be compared to a dolphin at the very least. However, their battle instinct was surely better than most humans. Tang Li Shui already tried to copy the flashbat's flight ability but she failed in the end. 
Well, it was actually not its ability but more like the skill it gained from its body parts so since Tang Li Shui did not a pair of wings, she cannot copy flight. This principle also applied to fishes. Tang Li Shui can copy its, swim, skills but she cannot copy its ability to breathe underwater since she did not have any gills. Tang Li Shui also already took, ice bolt, into consideration but her enemy this time was not a dumb ice wolf that stood still while spraying countless sharp icicles like before but a very fast moving beast that could move freely in the sky. And her, ice bolt, was not a sniper rifle with a proper telescope and she was also not someone trained in sniping a moving object. In short, her probability to hit her fast moving target was smaller than a blind man trying to score bullseye in the darts game. However, that was not an excuse for her to surrender and admit defeat, she managed to formulate a working strategy in a few seconds. Okay, it's simple, I only need to target its wings, right, easy. Without hesitation, Tang Li Shui opened her skill list panel and used one of her skill points to buy, jump, skill. Here it comes again, this time Tang Li Shui did not stand still or trying to dodge it like before since she knew it was useless then she decided to charge forward toward the flash bat instead with her full speed. Bang, 1020 HP, 2300 4500 this crash was a lot harder than before and the damage she received also higher. The recoil was so nasty that it made her tiny furry body threw high in the air instead of rolled on the ground like before. Tang Li Shui forced to gulp down the fishy taste of her own blood on her mouth back to her throat while shook her head to clear the dizziness on her mind. Now is the time, that nasty crash was not only affecting Tang Li Shui but also the flashback. It forced to halt its movement for a few seconds and flap its wings to stabilize itself from the crash recoil. Tang Li Shui skillfully flipped her body on the midair and shot out her, ice bolt, toward the stunned flashback. Clank, the, ice bolt, shattered into pieces when it hit the flash bat swing. The flash bat did not hurt at all but its flight turned shaky because of it. While Tang Li Shui's body smashed to the ground after shooting the ice bolt from the midair but she gritted her teeth to withstand the pain and charged one again using her full speed toward the flash bat. The flash bat panicked a bit and swiftly flapping its wings to fly higher and keep its distance from Tang Li Shui. But Tang Li Shui already long anticipated that jump. The jump skill effect was the same as dash, it did not give the user the ability to jump since everyone can jump but it enhanced the height of her jump twice higher. Tang Li Shui came toward the flash bat like a comet and the flash bat never thought that Tang Li Shui can jump that high so it did not have enough time to dodge. Rip, Tang Li Shui's sharp fang sunk into the flash bat's left wing tightly and she started to spam her close combat skills repeatedly toward flash bat's right wing. Sharp claw, sharp claw. Sharp Claw, Sharp Claw has increased to LV2. The Flash Bat could no longer tolerate Tang Li Shui's assault and they started to plunge to the ground together. Bam, Tang Li Shui still persistent with her, rip, skill and not let the Flash Bat's left wing out of her mouth even after both of them crashed onto the ground. Aren't you great at fighting in the sky? Now I bring you to the ground, what can you do here? Ha, ha. Tang Li Shui's strength was getting stronger on the ground since she could stand using her three her furry paws and use one of her remaining paws to hold the flash bat down. She ripped the flash bat's left wing apart using her, rip, skill. Rip has increased to LV2. The rest of the fight was easy since without flight the flash bat already losing most of its mobility and its attacking skill was only, bite. Fa. Oh my god. I swear this is my hardest fight since I reincarnate until now. Actually, the element of surprise from the ice bolt was playing a very crucial part for her strategy if she already used it since the start of the battle. That flash bat would already wary for it and would not startled until it lost balance like that. EH. What is that? Tang Li Shui picked a black marble from inside the flash bat. After a quick search on her Immortal Worlds newbie guide, she managed to find that the black marble was actually a beast core. The beast core has the same use as the human's dantian. Dantian was used to store the human's chi while the beast core was used to store the beast's vitality energy. Isn't that mean that this thing contains a lot of express? Let's try it then. Tang Li Shui popped the black beast core into her mouth. In the instant Tang Li Shui swallowed it down, the black beast core melted in no time, and the great amount of energy erupted from inside Tang Li Shui's body but it instantly converted into EXP by the system. 
Congratulations! You achieved level 8, plus 1 5 stat points, plus 3 skill points. Ooh, good stuff. If only I am strong enough to slaughter all the little critters inside this pagoda. How many levels will I get by eating their beast core? But it was only her wishful thinking forgets about defeating all of them. Just defeating one already took too many of her health and stamina. She ate another one of recovery pill, leaving only five in her system inventory. While waiting for her injury to recover for a few minutes, Tang Li Shui started to think about how she could explore that dark place full of little critters. After thinking hard and cannot find another solution, Tang Li Shui started to look around the thousands of skills registered inside the skill list panel and she manages to find an interesting skill that's completely suitable for her current circumstance. Sigh. There is even a skill like this. I should learn it since long time ago. Night Vision. Ability. Definitely buy. You have gained night vision ability. With this ability, all of her problem to explore this weird pagoda was solved. Tang Li Shui waited two hours to make sure all the little critters inside the weird pagoda went back to sleep while she recovered her stamina back to peak. She activated her stealth, silencer, odorless, and night vision skills before opened the pagoda's gate. She started to explore the pagoda full of vigilance but with her new skill, night vision, along with her silencer, she was sure everything should be okay now. The windowless pagoda was not that vast but it was packed full with flashbats if not hundreds then there were at least thousands of them inside here clinging on all over the wall and ceiling. Yes, just like the usual bats that sleep clinging on the cave's ceiling, flashbats also like that but it could also sleep clinging on the wall. Tang Li Shui shuddered in fear and horror when she recalled that she was chased like a flood by all of these little critters at the same time before. The smell of urine and feces was stinks so badly here. It was really a torture for Tang Li Shui's sensitive nose and it almost made her fainted several times already. After an hour or so, Tang Li Shui sighed in relief after she finished exploring the weird pagoda. She did not forget to close the door after finish it. Ah, 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 sleepy. I want to sleep so badly. Two more buildings to go and I will go to bed immediately after all of these exploration things over. Let's make it haste. The second building was a big dome just like a baseball stadium, Tang Li Shui's lips twitched violently when she saw this giant-sized building. Just how much the time I will need to explore such a huge building, sigh. Tang Li Shui was learning from her previous experience now. She did not waste any more time and activated all five of her infiltration skills. Stealth, odorless, trail cover, silencer, erasing presence. She could only sustain for more or less two minutes when she activated all five of them like this but she needs to do this at least to scout the situation inside the giant dome first before hiding back again to rest and recharge her stamina. This was the safest way that she could think for now. Different from the weird pagoda from before, the double door gate in this huge dome was open wide and inside also very bright. But Tang Li Shui did not drop her guard at all, on the contrary, she raised her guard even more since this place opened wide and bright, that also means there were people inside. And Tang Li Shui's guess was correct this time since even before she could step inside the gate, she could already heard many people shouting from inside. Go, 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 fast or you will not get any breakfast today. This, this place is actually, well, how could she describe this, chaotic? There were many people here, crowded even, and they were doing different things. There were people that let their demonic beasts fought against each other on the top of the arena while as their masters they put their bet on their demonic beast to win. The people around them also put their bet on their favorite demonic beast. Hellhound, vs, root deer, betting ratio equals 10 to 6. Tang Li Shui dumbfounded. Isn't this like cockfighting? But rather than cocks, they using demonic beasts instead. When Tang Li Shui came in, the hellhound already bit Root Deer, s neck tightly as its blood gushed out fiercely. Root Deer, struggled hard to break away but it was in vain, just as everyone thinks that there was no hope for the, Root Deer, to win, it taps on the ground with its hoof and. Bang, a tree spike came out from the ground and pierced the, Hellhound, stomach. The, Hellhound, released its bite and lied down powerlessly on the ground, it wailed loudly in pain as his blood poured out non-stop from its wound. You dipshit. You make me lost a lot of money. Fuck. What the use I feed you every day. 
The tall guy probably was the hellhound's owner but there was no compassion in his words as he keeps cursing his hellhound. And he even kicks it several times without care about its life and death. Ha ha ha, I win, yes, pay, quickly pay me all of you, ha 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 ha. This scrawny guy was root deer. But he only thought of his own bet and money even though his root deer was actually in no better shape than the hellhound. Though it still stood up unsteadily for now. Tang Li Shui watched them full of disgust and contempt. She can't even distinguish which one was humans anymore. It was different from her previous world where if their dog or cat sick like having a fever, they would bring it immediately to a veterinarian. She quickly went in deeper and ignored all of those inhuman owners. Tang Li Shui deactivated all of her skills except stealth, since she did not need it in here. Inside the giant dome, other than demonic beasts arena, there were many of them sell many kinds of demonic beasts from small to big inside the cage or its unhatched eggs even their beast cores. There were also some vendors that sell pills and herbs, some even sell all kinds of weapons like sword, saber, etc. This is the black market, isn't it? To think there is a black market at this size inside the farm, it's operating at midnight too. Tang Li Shui spent a few hours to explore this black market. At first she was quite interesting on the things there offer but she quickly lost her interest and look around quickly to save her time. Well, it was not like she could but anything here, she was a fox after all. And she was also very poor. Watching those things will only make her drool but she cannot have it and could only watch it from afar. Of course, she could try to steal it but the majority of people here were wearing blue robe, in other words, most of the people here were at chi condensation stage. Some of them even wearing red robe and black robe, core disciples and elders. Even someone as daring as Tang Li Shui, she did not want to throw her life in vain here. When Tang Li Shui finished exploring the black market and went out, she realized that the night almost over. She only had one or two more hours before the sun truly rays come but she quickly calmed down since only one more building left for her to explore. Only one more, it should be enough. It should not be a problem if I handle it more carefully this time. Tang Li Shui did not waste any more time and headed to the last building. The last building located at the most remote and barren place on the farm. This time the building was like a small fortress. Smaller than the big dome and the weird pagoda from before but did not know why Tang Li Shui felt a strong pressure coming out from this small fortress. Tang Li Shui raised her guard to the max in an instant since even the weird pagoda full of flashbats from before did not emit any noticeable strong pressure like this small fortress. In other words, whatever creatures inside here, it was definitely far stronger than all of the flashbats in the weird pagoda combined. Sigh, I want to go home already. I miss my bed in Xiao Hei's room so badly. But she did not want to give up, not after all the effort, danger, and fighting that she had been through. She had no other choice other than moving forward and finishes this quest as soon as possible. Tang Li Shui activated her, stealth, odorless, trail cover, silencer, and erasing presence, skills like before to scout the situation first like before. Surprisingly, the double door gate was not locked. Tang Li Shui could push it easily and enter. The light was quite dim inside with only a few torches that illuminate the interior. At least, Tang Li Shui did not need to use her night vision to see her surroundings. Small fortress interior also nothing impressive since it was quite hollow in Tang Li Shui's opinion. The space inside was also very narrow unlike the fortress at all. At least, for Tang Li Shui it was really narrow despite its size from the outside. Meh, suit my taste then, I can explore it faster if this place is only this small. Since this small fortress looks safe. Tang Li Shui turned off all of her infiltration skills again except, stealth. But when turned them off, oh, Tang Li Shui's heart almost leapt out from her mouth when the giant red eyes opened up in front of her. When the gigantic creature rose its head, Tang Li Shui that still trembling in fright manages to get a good look at its true form. This, this, isn't this a dragon? A true dragon in flesh? Isn't the guide said that the true dragon and phoenix only exist in divine world? The creature in front of her actually resembled the western dragon in fairy tale book. Species. Red eyes winged lizard. Grade. Rare. Level. 65. HP. Or, not, so it is not a dragon. But it really closes enough with its brown scales, red eyes, 
and a wide pair of bat-like wings. At first, Tang Li Shui was really scared but after she saw countless chains as thick as the barrel tightly bounded that red-eyes winged lizard, her fear vanished in an instant. Moreover, although its figure was very scary and intimidating but Tang Li Shui could feel that this fake dragon was actually quite kind and warm-hearted from its words since if it wanted to kill her, he would done so already without ask something like that. Rare, grave, level 65. Damn, this fake dragon must be only one step away from evolving into a spirit beast? The fake dragon sighed in disappointment and it's starting to depress over himself. Okay, I changed my mind, this dumb fake dragon is not kind and warm-hearted at all. Tang Li Shui pointed her tiny paw at the fake dragon then hugged herself like being bounded and made thumb down gesture. You, being bounded, uncool. She even spat to the ground while put her disdain expression in the end. The red eyes winged lizard current dumbfounded expression right now was identical with Xiao He's first reaction when he met with Tang Li Shui. You, are you really a savage beast? Impossible. How could your intelligence already so high when you still only a savage beast? You, you must be a spirit beast in disguise, right? But, that's also impossible I don't feel any vitality energy emitting out from your body so you must be still a savage beast. The fake dragon still blinked its eyes again and again in disbelief like trying to wake up from a dream while keep shaking its giant head like a rattle drum. Tang Li Shui rolled back her eyes in disdain, she really looking down on, this frog in the bottom of the well, fake dragon that never sees the world. Come on, for God's sake. You're a fake dragon that only one step away from becoming a spirit beast. Is this really that big of a deal? The red eyes winged lizard woke up from its stupor after it saw Tang Li Shui's disdain expression keep increasing toward him. Cough, cough, kid, where are you come from? Who is your master? Are you lost? The red eyes winged lizard coughed up a few times then put its dignified expression back. Tisk, it's already too late for you to act like a respectable fake dragon. Tang Li Shui thought but she was trying to buy some time to explore this place so she would try to act a bit nicer to this fake dragon for now. Tang Li Shui sat on the ground and put her two paws on her back then started to put cold murderous expression on her face. She was currently acted like how Xiao Hei usually appears in front of others, cold and aloof. E.H., so you are the pet of that Mo brat? Sigh. The red eyes winged lizard sighed and its eyes were full of reminiscing then he keeps quiet for a few seconds while staring at Tang Li Shui intensely. Kid, no, lass, tell me frankly, do you fell in love with that mo brat? That's why you follow him back here? At first, Tang Li Shui thought that the red eyes winged lizard only trying to tease her but after seeing its dead serious expression, Tang Li Shui realized that this fake dragon was trying to tell her something important. Tang Li Shui considered it for a few minutes seriously, was she really fallen in love with Xiao Hei before that was why she follows him here? Meh, of course not, to be honest, if I can make my own flame and cooking my own roasted meat with these tiny paws of mine, I will probably not come to this shish tty trap hole full of scheming and cruel cultivators. That was really the truth, Tang Li Shui was a poor sickly girl in her previous life, she lived in slum, never ate any delicious food and she even often starved for a few days even half a month. In this new life, the one that she worries the most besides her survival was not happiness but food. As long as she can eat delicious food every day until she was full then that it was already happiness for her. You should never say that she was a glutton or a dumb because of her choice because someone that said that certainly never felt starved for a few days or even a half month before. We could actually see this easily if the world really in the brick of apocalypse. What all humans do would be stocking food and drink in the bunker, not gold or money. In the end, Tang Li Shui shook her head to indicate that she did not have any feelings for Xiao Hei. That is good then, remember this, lass, humans are evil and treacherous creatures. You should never believe in what they say. Do you hear me? Never believe in human? The red eyes winged lizard said with a serious tone with even a hint of threatening. What's wrong with this fake dragon? Is it fallen in love with human before? and betrayed, this is bad though it's too emotional for now, I should calm him down first or I will never finish my quest like this. Tang Li Shui nodded her head while waving her paws around to calm down the red eyes winged lizard but it could feel that Tang Li Shui did not believe in it. Lass, I know that you don't believe me, then I will ask you first, did you see what happened in that black market? 
Why are those demonic beasts did not rebel or reject their master's order to fight each other to death? The red eyes winged lizard asked seriously while kept staring at Tang Li Shui. That's right. Why? This question was also ringing in Tang Li Shui's mind before but she decided to forget about it for now and focus on finishing her quest first. The answer is simple. Master-servant contract. Once it's signed, the demonic beast would never be able to reject its master order. And if the master is dead, their contracted demonic beast life would be dead too. Well if the demonic beast dead, its master would not be affected at all. The red eyes winged lizard explained patiently to Tang Li Shui. Tang Li Shui stunned by the fake dragon's explanation. What the hell with that unfair contract, I, this queen would never sign it even if this queen's life is at stake. Do you think you can reject it, ha ha? If you are weaker than the human that wanted to contract you then that human can force you into signing the contract whatever you like or not, heck. That human don't even need to be stronger than you, they can ask for their elder's help. The red eyes winged lizard could read Tang Li Shui's expression and explained it. Tang Li Shui's expression turned darker and gloomier each time she heard the fake dragon's explanation. But, but, Xiao Hei would not force me to sign that unfair contract, right? I mean we are friends, right? Do you think that Mo Brad is different than the other because he did not force you to sign that master-servant contract until now? Wrong. He did not do it before because you are still a savage beast. You still have not formed your beast core yet so he cannot make you sign the master-servant contract. The moment you become a demonic beast, he would certainly force you to sign it immediately. The red eyes winged lizard mercilessly trampled Tang Li Shui's hope with his words. Tang Li Shui was really depressed right now, even her ears and tail turned limp. Looking at the despaired Tang Li Shui, red eyes winged lizard also felt guilty, so he tried to comfort her. Listen up, lass, it's not my intention to put pressure on you, but I only wanted you to know your situation clearly. When I see that you have a high intelligence, I could feel that you will have a bright future in front of you, your chance to become a spirit beast probably higher than mine. The red eyes winged lizard said to Tang Li Shui as its gaze toward her turned gentler. I don't want you to be disillusioned by that mo brat. I don't want you to be daydreaming all day to marry that mo brat. Because human and beast would never have a happy ending. In my tens of thousand years of my life, I never witness any happy ending between human and beast. The red eyes winged lizard still tried to convince Tang Li Shui but Tang Li Shui already entered deep into her thinking mode so she cannot hear the red eyes winged lizard's words anymore. Damn it, what a close call, fortunately, I met with this fake dragon before I evolved further to, uncommon, grade. It would be too late if Xiao Hei already forced me into signing that master servant contract. I have to start to make a new plan for my future. On the contrary to how the red eyes winged lizards see, Tang Li Shui did not feel that depressed or frustrated at all. She even already started to think a way to escape from this Asura demon sect safely. When you become a spirit beast you may be able to gain a human form then you probably started to think that love between human and beast is possible this way. But that is a really big mistake. Spirit beast's life could last for hundreds of thousands of years but human? Even if they are high-ranked cultivators, they could only live for a few thousands of years? The red eyes winged lizard kept blabbering on and on. Maybe the relationship between human and beast could last for tens or even hundreds of years but that's it. The humans would start to feel bored and weary then they would begin to search for new women or men to satisfy their desire. Yes. The beasts are always devoted and faithful. Only love one mate in our entire life. But humans are different from us. They are the treacherous species where they would say it today and say be tomorrow, they cannot be trusted at all. Tang Li Shui's mouth started to twitch violently as her patience growing thin. Fuck. This fake dragon really can talk. Mr. Fake Dragon, you must be a lecturer or a lawyer in your previous life, aren't you? Aren't you? No, he must be a religious preacher as all of his words are so damn convincing. Even I started to hate humans now even though I am a human in my previous life. Enough. Stop it. I want to negotiate. Air. Talk to. Without waiting for the chatterbox fake dragon to stop its preaching, Tang Li Shui put some gesture to show to the fake dragon. Tang Li Shui pointed at the thick chain that bound the red eyes winged lizard, pointed back at herself then make a breaking gesture in the end. E-H-H, you, little lass want to release me? Peefed, B-W-A-H-A-H-A-H-A. So, so funny, but wahahaha. 
The red eyes winged lizard laughed out loud until all of the chains that bound it shook violently as if it was hearing the funniest joke. Listen up, little lass. All of these chains are forged from the rare precious metal. Forget about your tiny little claws. Even if core formation stage human hacking it with an axe for hundreds of times still won't be able to put any dent on it, the red eyes winged lizard sighed in resignment while shaking his head. After hearing that, Tang Li Shui started to run around and searching for something. Oi, 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 little lass, what are you searching for? Ah, uh, I know, is it a key? You're searching for the key, aren't you? Then it is futile. That bald fatty is the one that keeps it. The fake dragon said it while keep staring at Tang Li Shui that's still running around. Damn, so this chain's key is on that Xiao Hei's uncle? Then it's impossible for me to take it for now, shit. Why is it like this? Isn't RPG's law always stated that the key definitely stored in the same building? Tang Li Shui thought that she could release this big old fake dragon and escape together from this sect but it looks like that this idea was not feasible anymore since she did not have any more way to release this fake dragon. Nevertheless, Tang Li Shui was still pretending to frantically search for the key now. Her true motive was to explore all the small rooms and the area around the fake dragon to finish her quest. Ding! Quest completed. Reward. Level plus 3. Plus 1. Skill point plus 4 5. Plus 1 1. Stat point plus 9. Plus 2. 150. Plus 3 8. Deity coins. Ding. Congratulation. You achieved level 11. Plus 4 5 stat points. Plus 9 skill points. Your level reached maximum cap. Plus 1 level will be stored for later use. Congratulation. You have reached level 11, second evolution menu available. Yes. Thank God, at last, this quest completed. But this system is really stingy, why I don't get any additional reward now, sigh. Forget it, the most important thing is I can evolve once more now, or not, since if I evolve to a demonic beast and form my beast core then Xiao Hei or another human with higher cultivation than me can force me to sign the master servant contract, sigh, what a bad luck. Tang Li Shui sat back again in front of the fake dragon after exploring, air, searching around but she finds that the fake dragon put on its dumbfounded expression once more. What's wrong with this mental fake dragon now? You, you, what happened to you, little lass? I can feel that you got stronger suddenly without doing anything other than running around, the red eyes winged lizard asked suspiciously while brought its giant head closer to Tang Li Shui. Tang Li Shui panicked a bit. She was afraid that this fake dragon finds out about her secret so she immediately put sleepy act and yawned since she was also afraid that the fake dragon would blabbering nonstop and not let her leave. Uh, oh, maybe it's only my feeling, cough, well, I will gift you something as our first meeting gift. The red eyes winged lizard raised its large claw and moved it toward Tang Li Shui. Tang Li Shui reflexes kicked in and she wanted to retreat back but after thinking that this fake dragon did not have any intention to hurt her, she quickly relaxed back. The red eyes winged lizard giant claws tip touched Tang Li Shui's forehead gently. The blinding crimson light engulfed Tang Li Shui in an instant if someone saw this scene, they would probably be thinking that the red eyes winged lizard actually cursing Tang Li Shui. Ding! You have received, winged lizard blessing. What the hell is this? Listen up, little lass, with this. No human weaker than me can force you to sign the master servant contract from now on, of course with the exception if you sign it voluntarily yourself. Let's see, since I am practically invincible under nascent soul stage so no human below nascent soul stage can force you. The red eyes winged lizard explained while nodded satisfied that Tang Li Shui obediently trusted it. But if Tang Li Shui ran in fear then the red eyes winged lizard would not bother to give her its blessing anymore or explain it. Seriously. Whoa, with this, I don't need to worry about becoming a slave of other people. You, you are so kind. Too bad you are a chatterbox and ugly. Do not be too happy yet, little lass. What if the human that cannot force you to submit to become their pet decide to kill you in the end out of anger? The fake dragon words were like splashing cold water to the happy Tang Li Shui. Tang Li Shui instantly became sulk again. The red eyes winged lizard realized what it did and panicked a bit then it tried to cheer Tang Li Shui up again. Ah, uh, sorry, little lass, it was not my intention to, how about this, if you manage to release me someday then I promise that I will become your mount, how about that? 
Tang Li Shui's dim eyes shone brightly like a pair of blue stars in an instant. What? Become my mount, this. This is serious, right? You do not lie to me, right? Holish tea. A fox like me riding a dragon. Whoa, so dreamy. I, I cannot wait anymore. You wee hee hee hee. Tang Li Shui was still drowning deep in her fantasy and grinning by herself. But remember, you should be careful too. Do not force yourself and risk your life to get the key. It will be futile if you get caught while you are trying to steal it. The fake dragon chatterbox mode triggered again and it kept reminded Tang Li Shui again and again. Tang Li Shui felt annoyed but her heart also warmed up while thinking. Maybe, this is how having a mother should be, keep nagging and worry about me. Tang Li Shui always felt like she was an orphan in her previous life since her mother died when giving birth to her and her father ran away leaving only his debt behind. While in this life, she was once again alone without any parents beside her. Tang Li Shui waved her paw toward the fake dragon saying goodbye for today while promised to it that she would come again later with her gesture. After Tang Li Shui left the fake dragon's fortress, someone came out from nowhere inside the fortress near the fake dragon. Is that Yan Er's pet? What a smart and interesting fox. The red eyes winged lizard was opened up its mouth in surprise and quickly turned its giant head toward where that sound comes from. It found out that the sound came from a wrinkled old man with long white beard and white hair. But the creepiest was not even the fake dragon and Tang Li Shui knew know how long this old man entered this fortress. Did he came before or after Tang Li Shui enter the fortress? No one knew, not even the strong red eyes winged lizard? The person that the red eyes winged lizard hated the most, Xiao He's grandfather, Mo Chanming. Mo Chanming's expression was kind and humble with a gentle smile that keep plastered on his face all the time but in this entire Asura demon sect, only the red eyes winged lizard knew how cruel and heartless this old man was. I wonder what are you and that fox talking about for so long, Mo Chanming turned his head and staring at the red eyes winged lizard. The red eyes winged lizard actually cannot talk and it communicated with Tang Li Shui directly into her mind using telepathy, while Tang Li Shui communicated with it using her gesture. That was why Mo Chanming cannot hear any words the two of them. The red eyes winged lizard stared back at Mo Chanming full of disgust and pretended to not hear anything. The red eyes winged lizard lowered its giant head back to the ground, it completely ignored Mo Chanming, and went back to sleep. Mo Chanming did not get angry since the red eyes winged lizard reaction toward him was always like. He only turned back his gaze toward where Tang Li Shui heading back to with his usual creepy gentle smile. Tang Li Shui's head was really hurt right now. There were many things that she must do from thinking about her escape plan. Should she steal the fake dragon's key and release the fake dragon before escaping, to how she will handle her own evolution. Whatever, to hell with all those things. What I want and need the most right now is to lie down comfortably on my warm and cozy pillow. Xiao Hei's body, then fell asleep. But after she went back to Xiao Hei's courtyard, before she was entering his room. Praying, that bastard Lin Shang, I swear I will torture and kill him one day. Uh, oh, what happens to Xiao Hei when I was gone? Tang Li Shui wanted to sneak in to see what exactly happened inside. She activated her, stealth, skill and jumped into Xiao Hei's room from the side window. Like Tang Li Shui's guess, Xiao Hei was really inside his room but his current appearance is really messy. Bloodshot eyes, disheveled hair, and clothes combined with his pale face even Tang Li Shui cannot bear to look at him like this. But Tang Li Shui did not want to interrupt Xiao Hei's business so she only watched from the corner of the room for now and silently listening what they talking about. Xiao Hei was not alone in his room. There was also his subordinate kneeled in front of him silently in the room keep informing information to Xiao Hei. To summary it all, Xiao Hei was in deep trouble this time. His faction already lacked resources before but now his fatty uncle pressured him even more through Elder Lu. Elder Lu was a renowned alchemist with high ranking in Asura demon sect and no need to be asked again, he was in cahoots with Xiao Hei's fatty uncle. For all the renowned alchemists that worked for Asura demon sect, the sect would provide all the herbs and materials that the alchemists needed to concocting the pills but they must give 80% of the pills that they successfully concocted to the sect while they could take the remaining 20%. However, Elder Lu pressured Xiao Hei's faction that he would only concoct their pills if they give him 50% while Xiao Hei could only take another 
That was why Xiao He fuming with rage. Imagine 20% of the sect total pills was already unimaginable wealth but Elder Lu asked for 50% of it now. It was the same as asking the dragons for half of the blood in their body. But the certain fox that lie down relaxed on the corner of the room before suddenly stood up. Her eyes turned into slit and her mouth curled upward as she imagined how much wealth in that greedy Elder Lu's possession. That would ever Lu definitely have so many pills in his room that he would be unable to count at all anymore. He probably would not even know it if I took a few bottles of pills from there. The more Tang Li Shui thought about it, the more excited she becomes even her silky furry tails wagging faster and faster. However, in the end, Xiao Hei could not do anything to Elder Lu since he was under the fatty uncle's protection and Xiao Hei could only try to discuss the pills allocation with Elder Lu even further or trying to find a new renowned high-ranking alchemist to become Xiao Hei's faction personal alchemist. But it was easier to say than do it though since high-ranking alchemist that could concoct high-grade pills was not a cabbage that you could find anywhere. All of them were truly rare, only one in ten thousand and most of them already join one of the virtuous sects, alchemist sect. Xiao Hei rubbed his aching head and sent his subordinate out to do his own job back. Only after Xiao Hei closed his own room's door that he realized that Tang Li Shui already back into his room. Xiao Bai, where did you go last night? Do you know I am so worried about you? Xiao Hei walked toward Tang Li Shui and gently hugged her. Oh, oh, I am sorry. Tang Li Shui closed her eyes comfortably when Xiao Hei stroked and combed her silky fur gently from her head to her back. If you dare to not go back again like last night then this seat will not cook your favorite roasted meat for you the next day. Do you understand? Xiao Hei reprimanded Tang Li Shui harshly. Tang Li Shui did not know that Xiao Hei was actually waiting for her to come back for the entire night yesterday. He even began to panic when the sun has raised but his favorite Xiao Bai still did not come back. This was also the reason for his disheveled look. If it was his usual self, he would never show this kind of pitiful appearance to his own subordinate since it will only show them his weakness. Do not look that Xiao Hei always treated Tang Li Shui like his pet but actually, no one really knows since when Tang Li Shui occupied the most important part in Xiao Hei's heart now. Xiao Hei never knew who his mother was and his father was always very strict toward him, too strict even, so Xiao Hei was really cannot feel his father's love toward him. He only knew that his father was a very responsible guy toward sect and he always training like a possessed person. No one knows but the one that closest to him was actually Feng Yi, the aide that betrayed him. They always training together since little and Feng Yi was always beside Xiao Hei doing all of Xiao Hei's orders perfectly without any mistake. For Xiao Hei, Feng Yi was his childhood friend, her brother closer than his own father, and a very reliable subordinate. The most painful of Feng Yi's betrayal was actually not that black dagger wound that almost took Xiao Hei's life but the wound that scarring his heart, his belief, his trust, and how he truly sees this world as. That was also why Xiao Hei killed Feng Yi at that instant before because he was afraid that after he heard Feng Yi's excuse, he, Xiao Hei, will really forgive Feng Yi in the end even after Feng Yi betrayed him. At the moment that Xiao Hei lost his closest brother, his most important subordinate, and a childhood friend he fully trusted, his Xiao Bai came into his world replacing Feng Yi as its pillar before his world completely crumbles to pieces. It was really a series of coincidence actually, if at that time the one that helped Xiao Hei was a human, he would definitely not feel this way. He would become suspicious and paranoid thinking that the person that helped him would definitely want something from him. In the end, he would only award them generously and say goodbye to them. But the one that helped him was actually a small powerless savage beast. With her tiny body, she brings him to a safe place. Then search for his antidote from the entire moonlight forest that was full of danger. She even used such precious rare herbs that can cure critical wounds in an instant to treat him. It was very difficult for Xiao Hei's heart to not be moved by Tang Li Shui's kindness and devotion. For the current Xiao Hei, Tang Li Shui was his world's pillar. He was so sure that Tang Li Shui would not like the traitorous Feng Yi. He was also so sure that as a beast, Tang Li Shui would faithfully follow him as long as he treats her very well. But you know, I think this kind of coincidence was actually not really a coincidence but it caused by the lucky sticker that Tang Li Shui used when she saved Xiao Hei before. However, since luck was intangible and no one could actually prove it so let's skip it for now. With Tang Li Shui in his embrace, 
Xiao He's strained nerve quickly loosened up and when he playing around with Tang Li Shui in a relaxed manner on his bed, he accidentally fell asleep in the end. Tang Li Shui was staring at Xiao He's sleeping face intensively while red eyes winged lizard's words and warning keep playing in her mind again and again. Xiao He, if I really evolve, would you really, sigh, unfortunately, there is no, if, in this world. I, Tang Li Shui would never put my life on the other people's hands anymore. Not even Vod. Her mother died giving birth to her, her father ran away leaving only his debt, while her big brother sustained PVS, persistent vegetate state, after working hard to pay for her medication fee. Since then Tang Li Shui always believed that if she leaned to earth, the earth will crumble and if she relied on heaven, the heaven will collapse. She could never rely on anyone but herself. Tang Li Shui also ended up sleeping in Xiao He's embrace since she was so tired running around, fighting, and exploring for the entire night until morning. When Tang Li Shui's opened up her sleepy eyes and woke up, it was already noon. Xiao He already went to work but he already cooked Tang Li Shui's roasted meat personally and put it nicely on the table for her to eat as soon as she woke up. While eating her favorite roasted meat, Tang Li Shui decided to check her second evolution menu list to see what kind of species that she capable of evolving along with its requirement for evolution. You can choose between second evolution or forming, Dantian, which one do you choose? PFT, cough, 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 Tang Li Shui almost choked to death because of these sudden choices. Forming Dantian, whoa, is it means that I can transform into my human form now, or, not? since it did not mention anything about human form. Meh. What is the point then? It is utterly useless, isn't it, since I can form my Dantian and regain my human form when I evolve into spirit beast. Tang Li Shui stopped eating her roasted meat and began to consider her next choice. If she chose second evolution then she will one step closer to regain her human form, she will also get her current stats tripled like before, and get another OP divine ability as her trump card. But, she always felt that her almighty system would never give any futile choice for her. Tang Li Shui tried to think about the pros and the cons if she forms her Dantian earlier. Tang Li Shui squinted her eyes in realization when she found out that this damn system actually setting up a fatal trap for her. Yes, it was a fatal trap. Actually, Tang Li Shui did not have any other choice other than choose to form her Dantian now. Why? The answer was simple. If we assume that she chose second evolution and manages to evolve into a spirit beast soon then regain her human form but all her beast power would be sealed temporarily including all her stats, skills, and divine abilities. She would be as defenseless as a chicken without any means to protect herself although she will have Dantian at that time but she would need to cultivate from the very bottom. However, what if she began her cultivation from now? When she evolved into spirit beast and all her beast power temporarily sealed, she still has her cultivation in her Dantian as her means to protect herself. So is it means I can cultivate like in Wuxia novel and learn martial arts from now on? Damn, this is good too. And the most exciting about this is, I can awaken my martial soul, ha ha ha. She would also have more time to evolve her martial soul step by step according to her plan to get it into the invincible martial soul grade in her dream. Of course, this choice also had its own disadvantage. For example, after forming Dantian, her level would probably reset back to 1 and she needs to increase her level one by one again like before. The level up this time would probably harder and need more express than before. Also according to the previous pattern, she would need to reach level 16 this time to evolve into demonic beast and form her own beast core. I guess it can't be helped. I really want to choose second evolution but I am afraid that after I form my beast core, I must wait until I evolved into spirit beast to be able to form my Dantian, Sai. Tang Li Shui would never think that this choice of her would bring unimaginable benefit for her when she evolved into a spirit beast in the future. Since she already decided to form her Dantian first then her problem right now was only to decide where and when she would form her Dantian since she was afraid that it would create a greater phenomenon than when she evolved for the first time in Moonlight Forest before. This problem gave Tang Li Shui quite a headache since there was no deserted place here for her to be alone to form her Dantian safely and quietly without anyone noticing it. Then Tang Li Shui suddenly remembered her dragon mommy, Air, she means that chatterbox dragon's place. That prison fortress was deserted enough and she could even ask for that dragon mommy to protect her while she attempts to form her Dantian there, 
that fake dragon probably would not reject her request. As for the time, she decided to do it tomorrow morning rather than night because if she triggered the spectacular phenomenon and make that kind of blinding silver light like before, she was afraid that it would be too eye-catching if she did it at night and the probability for getting caught was a lot higher too. At least, if she did it in the morning, sunlight would cover that silver light to some extent. Tang Li Shui's nerve calmed down a lot after she made her choice and planned for everything. E, come to think of it, the system never says that I cannot take a peek at the second evolution list before making my choice, he 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 he, I am really so smart. Let's take a peek then, wah ha ha ha. I always wonder what kind of op species can I evolve into next time and what are all the requirements for its evolution. Tang Li Shui skipped all the low requirement species since it should be trash tier fox species and only glanced at the species with the highest requirement like usual. Out of tens of fox species, she only found three with the highest requirements for evolution. Royal Moon Fox, Rec. Strength equals 200. Agility equals 300. Toughness equals 200. Take Moonlight Bath for 99 days. Need to hold a Crystal Moon Gem to evolve. Mystic Moon Fox, Rec. Strength equals 250. Agility equals 250. Toughness equals 200. Take Moonlight Bath for 88 days. Need to absorb a certain amount of mystic fog to evolve. Spirit Moon Fox, Rec. Strength equals 225. Agility equals 250. Toughness equals 225. Take Moonlight Bath for 77 days. Can only evolve under the full moon. Need to learn at least one spirit related divine ability to evolve. Yua. All of them sound so powerful and cool, it's really hard to choose. But Uck. What the hell with those evolution requirements? So high and complicated. Now Tang Li Shui became even more certain that the system was actually only trolling at her when it gave her second evolution choice. Look at that all those crazy requirements. She did not even fulfill any single one of those requirements. As for the stats requirement, she only had 519 from the total of her current strength, agility, toughness, and her free stat points while she actually needs 700 to be able to fulfill the evolution requirement. And also, what the hell is this crystal moon gem, mystic fog, and, ha ha ha, spirit related divine ability? You must be joking, right? Where I could find any of those? System, you must be joking with me, right? Tang Li Shui felt her headache become even more painful now when she was thinking about where she could find all of those weird items needed for her evolution and she doubted that she could find any of it in this sect. After finished eating all of her roasted meat, Tang Li Shui decided to forget all of her evolution problems for now since she already decided to form her Dantian first. Tang Li Shui did not have any more tasks since her level stuck at the maximum cap for now and she cannot level up further so she decided to wander around the sect and raising her skills level like, odorless, trail cover, silencer, erasing presence, and, jump, for today since she needs them to reach mastered level as soon as possible. Odorless skill has increased to LV5, trail cover skill has increased to LV4. Silencer skill has increased to LV4, Erasing Presence skill has increased to LV4. Jump skill has increased to LV4. Tang Li Shui nodded her head in satisfaction for her training result today and checked her current status. Species. Moon Fox. Grade. Common. Level 11. Samaritan. Cultivation Technique. None Martial Arts. None Divine Ability. Mirror of the Moon. Ice Bolt. Innate. Agility. Stats. HP. 6800 6800s strength 120 agility 160 toughness 60 skills rip lv2 sharp claws lv2 stealth lv2 sprint lv2 identify lv5 herbalism lv3 odorless lv5 trail cover lv4 silencer lv4 Erasing Presence, LV4, Jump, LV4, Night Vision, LV2. Stats Point, 199 Skill Point, 32, Item, Immortal Worlds Newbie Guide, 2 by 2 times Express Card, 1 Hour, 5x Recovery Pill, 5x Stamina Pill, 1x Bad Luck Sticker, 1x Greater Lucky Sticker, 
1x bronze lottery ticket, 1x silver lottery ticket, 1x cultivation voucher, 698 deity coins, level 10 beginner gift package. Ooh, yeah, how could I forget this treasure box? Level 10 beginner gift package, hopefully, I would get more, lucky sticker, or the better, greater lucky sticker, again now. Wahahaha, shush, open. Gained. 3x 2 times express card. 1 hour. 1x substitute doll. 1x greater lucky sticker. 1x premium cultivation voucher. 3x silver lottery ticket. 1500 deity coins. Level 20 intermediate gift package. Yes, I got another, greater lucky sticker. Now I can feel more assured since I have two of it. And, I have two new items too. Let's see. This, premium cultivation voucher. Maybe an upgraded version of cultivation voucher. She did not know its function since she cannot use it for now, but she will be able to use it after she formed her Dantian tomorrow. The last item was substitute doll. Tang Li Shui took it out from her system inventory for her to see, but her face turned into disgust as she held back her urge to throw it away the moment she saw it. It was actually a straw doll like the one that you could usually see in Voodoo Magic. It was truly downright creepy. Even Tang Li Shui wanted to burn this creepy thing on the spot. Calm down, Tang Li Shui. Every item from the system have the miraculous effect so this creepy doll should have some miraculous effect too. I just need to find how to use this creepy thing. Tang Li Shui observed the creepy doll carefully for a few hours but she still cannot find any clue about how to use it. Damn it, as this creepy doll can be used to curse a person like in the movie? So I need to use a strand of hair from my target or something like that to activate it? Air. This curiosity of mine would really kill me someday? Tang Li Shui began to consider, should she use her own fur to test this creepy thing or should she use a strand of hair from the person he hates like that bald fatty? Air. Let's forget him since he didn't even have a strand of hair on his shiny bald head. Hold on a second, come to think of it, all of the items from the system usually have a straightforward name. That's why it never bothered to explain it like the divine ability. Then this creepy doll should not be used to curse any person since its name is not, cursed doll. But, substitute doll, substitute, what does it mean? Tang Li Shui gritted her teeth and decided to put a few strands of her own silver furs into that creepy looking straw doll. She decided to believe the system since if it was really a cursed item, then the system should name it so like, bad luck sticker. Ding! successfully bind the substitute doll with the owner from now on any damage or lethal damage the owner takes would be transferred to substitute doll what this 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 is such a precious treasure and i almost wanted to use it to my enemy before damn it luckily i am smart enough tang li shui held the substitute doll very carefully like holding a priceless fragile herb very different from before when she held it like a smelly sock that she could not wait to throw it away as far as possible. It was reasonable though since from now on all the damage that she took would be transferred to the doll. Even the most lethal skill that could kill her in one hit cannot kill her and it would only destroy the doll in her place. Tang Li Shui put the substitute doll back into her system inventory really carefully. She even grinned foolishly each time she thinks about that creepy. No, it was a cute precious doll now. Now I have another life-saving item in my repertoire other than, Greater Lucky Sticker. What's more, it's a different type of life-saving item than, Greater Lucky Sticker. Where I must activate it first to get its protection buff effect. This, substitute doll, could also protect my life even from the sneak attack. Xiao Hei did not come back that night maybe he was still busy taking care of his business with that elder Lin but Tang Li Shui still slept comfortably and soundly without any worry since she always remembers that she had, substitute doll now. Even if someone sneakily attacking her when she was sleeping, she would not instantly die. The next morning, Tang Li Shui opened up her eyes groggily. Since yesterday, she already decided to wake up very early today and heading out to the fake dragon fortress before anyone. Tang Li Shui frowned deeply when she still did not find Xiao Hei sleeping beside her this morning. Sigh, so he is pulling another all-nighter yesterday? That old bast road Lin must be really too tired to live since he dared to toying with this queen's concubine. This queen will surely find that old Lin and teach him a lesson he will never forget after this queen finish with all of her business today. While she keep cursing elder Lin in her mind, Tang Li Shui activated her, stealth, 
and walked out of Xiao Hei's room then heading toward her lizard mommy. The chatterbox lizard was very happy when it saw Tang Li Shui entered its place again but it still tried to put its act as an old wise dragon in front of her. Ha ha ha. Cough, cough, little lass. Why are you coming back here again? Do you need to ask something from me? Come on, just ask right away. Don't be shy, don't be afraid. I will never bite you. Come to think of it, actually, I only bite human ha ha ha. Tang Li Shui's expression darkened in an instant when she heard what this fake dragon talking about. And here I am trying to form my Dantian like a human in front of you. Will it bite me on the spot if it manages to find out what I am doing? Should I think about it more and change to another place? What a headache. Tang Li Shui rubbed her forehead with her tiny little paw. Whatever, I will try to explain everything first to this fake dragon. It may be wiser to tell it that I want to evolve rather than form my Dantian though, since this should be the weirdest occurrence since I form my Dantian before evolving into a spirit beast and I don't even want to deal with this chatterbox's questioning later on. Tang Li Shui pointed her finger toward herself after that she raised her two front paws above her shoulders like a bodybuilder showing their muscle then she pointed to the fake dragon and pointed back to herself in the end. I, want to evolve, you, help to protect me, eh, 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 I understand now, ha 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 ha, little lass, you really have a big ambition, didn't you, I know you have it in you. The fake dragon laughed heartily in delight made Tang Li Shui wondering what the hell was this fake dragon talking about. Tang Li Shui stared at the fake dragon full of doubt in her eyes. Hey, 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 what kind of stare is that? Of course, I understand it. You must be asked me to train you to become stronger, right? You must be wanted to become stronger so you could pinch all of those filthy humans to death between your fingers like an ant, right? Ha 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 ha, I know that is what you want. Tang Li Shui facepalmed while thinking. Sigh, it looks like I will need a lot more time to explain it all to this fake dragon. Dash 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 Tang Li Shui was really sad that Xiao Hei did not come back tonight to cook her roasted meat for her dinner but at least he still has his conscience and ordered one of his subordinates to feed her. Feng San, Xiao Hei's new aide, brought a few mice that's still alive and tried to feed it to Tang Li Shui. Are you stupid? Who can eat that kind of filthy things? Bring it far away from me. Tang Li Shui slapped Feng San's hand that held the mouse in front of her mouth then pointed at a roasted meat on the plate, picture on the wall. This, roasted meat on the plate, picture that pasted on the wall was actually used as Tang Li Shui's and Xiao Hei's code. Each time Tang Li Shui felt hungry she would come to Xiao Hei then pointed at the picture so Xiao Hei could make her favorite roasted meat for her. Feng San's wooden face brightened slightly as if he understands something then he nodded to Tang Li Shui then went back to the kitchen. After a few seconds, Feng San came back and put a few mice on the top of plate in front of Tang Li Shui. You. Oh my god, you are really stupid. Can you just bring the roasted pork from the kitchen to here? Tang Li Shui angrily flipped the plate full of mice then she jumped toward the picture and pointed exactly at, the roasted meat, part on the picture with her tiny furry paw. Feng San slapped his own forehead looking as if he realized how stupid he was before then nodded to Tang Li Shui with solemn expression like saying, I understand, this time I will not take the wrong one. Good. Now go and take a plate full of roasted meat for me from the kitchen. Tang Li Shui waved her tiny paw ordering Feng San to be hurry. This time Feng San took more time, almost one hour before coming back and Tang Li Shui pretty sure that Feng San really get it right this time and ordered the chef in the kitchen to roast fresh pork or beef meat for her. Tang Li Shui was already very starving when Feng San went back toward her room with a plate of roasted meat in his hand. But Tang Li Shui spurted several liters of her blood out as soon as she saw what Feng San brought for her. I only asked you to bring me delicious roasted pork or beef meat, not the roasted mice on the plate. Now I understand why Xiao Hei picked that traitor to become his aide before, so it was because only that one is smart enough. 
After Tang Li Shui wasted a lot and I mean a really lot of effort to explain everything using her gesture to the fake dragon. At last, the fake dragon got some gist about what Tang Li Shui wanted to do. Oh, I get it. So you want me to protect you while you are trying to do something, right? The red eyes winged lizard said to confirm its guess. Tang Li Shui was still panting heavily and she also too exhausted to continue to explain it over, again and again, like before so she decided to nod her head this time. At least, this fake dragon guessed 50% of what Tang Li Shui's explained correctly this time. That's simple, come closer to me, little lass, all of these chains restricted my movement but I can still protect you properly as long as you are within my range of movement. The red eyes winged lizard said seriously while waving its giant claw signaled Tang Li Shui to come closer to it. Tang Li Shui approached the fake dragon's chest and the fake dragon opened its big mouth full of sharp fangs toward her. If Tang Li Shui did not really trust her lizard mommy, she would piss on her pants out of fear since its behavior right now was like it wanted to eat Tang Li Shui alive. The fake dragon spurted out golden flames from its giant mouth toward Tang Li Shui. Tang Li Shui panicked for a moment and her instinct told her to dodge it but she held down that urge to dodge. The fake dragon's golden flames swirled around Tang Li Shui and made a golden flame wall then in a few seconds, the golden flames make a complete golden barrier that enveloped Tang Li Shui along with her surroundings. This is my, resilient flame barrier, it could even hold a few full powered hits from the peak core formation stage cultivator. Sigh. Unfortunately. All of these black chains suck all of my vitality energies dry if not. I can even make the stronger version of this, resilient flame barrier. That could even hold against the nascent soul cultivator's strike. Whatever. Now you can do your things. Little lass. The red eyes winged lizard sighed while complained. Tang Li Shui nodded to the fake dragon then she opened her evolution list from the system. Are you sure you want to choose to form your Dantian now? Yes. No. Sigh. I really. Really hope that this time the itchiness would be lighter or no itchiness at all would be the best since come on. I am not evolving this time, right? Okay then, bring it on, yes. Yes. The surrounding spiritual energy suddenly churning violently as Tang Li Shui's body sucking all of the spiritual energy greedily. Oh no. I really have a bad feeling about this. This. This looks bad. Really really bad. All of those spiritual energies actually passed all of her skins and bones then started to ACC. You. Mulate inside her stomach, below her navel. Tang Li Shui's inside began to undergo earth-shaking transformation. All the surrounding spiritual energy was flowing non-stop to Tang Li Shui while Tang Li Shui's energy suction power keep magnifying many folds and even now it still keeps increasing at incredible speed. In a few seconds, the energy around this small fortress thinned out greatly but Tang Li Shui's energy suction power area keep going wider and wider until it covered the entire farm and it still keeps getting wider. Tang Li Shui's condition right now was like a giant whirlpool in the middle of the ocean assuming that the spiritual energy was the ocean water and this Asura demon sect was the ocean. The hell, what this tiny little lass trying to do? Don't tell me she wants to evolve? But this kind of disturbance is definitely not on the scale of, the savage beast evolves to the demonic beast. This is more like a demonic beast that trying to evolve into a spirit beast. Fortunately, she chose to do it here with me protecting her and covering her trace if not. Even that Mobrat probably cannot protect her. The red eyes winged lizard widened its eyes in surprise. The massive amount of spiritual energy that entered Tang Li Shui's body began to change her internal organ. Other forming a new Dantian for her below her navel, the spiritual energy also creates new blood vessels, heavenly meridians, acupoints, and many other more. Pain. Uck. Very painful. Damn it. But at least it is much better than that unbearable itchiness. Tang Li Shui's fox face reddened like a tomato. Actually, not only her face but her entire body started to turn red and it even started to let out some steam. Every single pore in Tang Li Shui's body started to open up and her blood started to push out from her body through her pores like her sweat. Tang Li Shui closed her eyes and gritted her fangs harder to withstand the unbearable pain coming from the transformation inside her body. The rich spiritual energy in the Asura demon sect thinned out too quickly that it makes several important figures in the sect alarmed. Even the spiritual energy from the sect's surroundings became more and more unstable, that it began to trigger the weather anomaly. 
The unimaginable amount of spiritual energy inside Tang Li Shui also circulated faster and faster made the unbearable pain that Tang Li Shui's withstood increased once again to another level. In the end, Tang Li Shui cannot hold it anymore as her consciousness fading away and her vision turned dark. She could only think one thing before she passed out. Ah, I really make a huge mistake today. I should increase my toughness stats as many as possible to increase my pain tolerance. Tang Li Shui slowly opened her eyes when she regained her consciousness. She started to check her body immediately but she was really disappointed when she did not find any change with her body. She only finds her own red blood that stuck on her fur. Sigh, I really hope too much before. I thought I can get my human form earlier when I form this Dantian. Let's check my status first then. Species. Moon Fox. Dantian. Grade. Common. Level 1. Samaritan. Cultivation level. None cultivation technique. None. Martial arts. None divine ability. Mirror of the moon. Ice bolt. Innate. Agility. Stats. HP. 6800 6800th strength. 120 agility. 160. Toughness. 60. Skills. Rip. LV2. Sharp claws. LV2. Stealth. LV2. Sprint. LV2. Identify. LV5. Herbalism. LV3. Odorless. LV5. Trail cover. LV4. Silencer. LV4. Erasing presence. LV4. Jump. LV4. Night vision. LV2. Stats point. 229 skill point. 38. Item. Immortal World's Newbie Guide. 5 by 2 times express card. 1 hour. 1x substitution doll. 5x recovery pill. 5x stamina pill. 1x bad luck sticker. 2x greater lucky sticker. 1x bronze lottery ticket. 4x silver lottery ticket. 1x cultivation voucher. 1x premium cultivation voucher. 2198 deity coins. Level 20 intermediate gift package. Nothing changed at all. What a disappointment. Sigh. But I get 30 free stats point and 6 skill points now. Well, not bad then. At least I will get more free stats point and skill points each time I level up now. Little lass, are you okay? I thought you will level up straight into a spirit beast with the massive disturbance you make. But look at you now. You, do not change at all? So strange. Where have all of those spiritual energies gone after you absorb them all? The red eyes winged lizard asked Tang Li Shui curiously. Tang Li Shui was too lazy and exhausted to explain everything to the fake dragon so she only raised her shoulder and shrugged. I don't know too, however, her beaming expression betrayed what she said. Since Tang Li Shui did not want to tell the fake dragon what happened to her, the fake dragon also did not force her to tell it. Everyone has their own secret and the fake dragon that already lives for 10,000 years knew it more than anyone. But the fake dragon with its usual mommy tendencies gave long reminders, caution, and advice over and over again to Tang Li Shui then began to preaching on how bad humans were and what would happen to her if she told any human about these things. After the sky turned dark, the red eyes winged lizard finally let Tang Li Shui go back. Bawahahahaha, my form has not changed at all but no problem, on the contrary, this is also good since no one will know that what happened today was actually because of me and the most exciting news is I finally can cultivate like in Wuxia novel and awaken my martial soul. I wonder what my martial soul would be like. When night came, Tang Li Shui hurried back to Xiao Hei's room and sat on the top of the bed. She immediately checked on how to awaken her martial soul but disappointed soon when she found out that she must reach the peak of body tempering stage first before she can awaken her martial soul. The reason was simple. Anyone needs a strong body to awaken their martial soul since a strong body would act as the martial soul vessel. But Tang Li Shui did not mind it that much since she would definitely awaken it sooner or later. She quickly switched her interest to the item that could only be used when she has her own Dantian like now, Cultivation Voucher. Now I can use this Cultivation Voucher. I wonder what its function actually for. Is it to increase my cultivation in an instant? Ho ho ho. Then I would gladly try to use it right away. Cultivation voucher has been activated. You can choose any cultivation, martial art manual you want. 
Tang Li Shui became a bit disappointed when she heard that the cultivation voucher's function was only to trade it with one cultivation martial art manual from the system. Meh. Better than nothing I guess. Let's see what this system has in stock. Dragon Soaring Spearmanship. Southern Cross Sword Style. Base Cultivation Secret. Wow. Not bad at all. I thought it would sucker manual like Iron Shirt, Basic Swordsmanship, or something like that. As this queen expected from the Almighty System, Tang Li Shui's mood turned more cheerful as she browsed through the Cultivation, Martial Art Manual Catalog. Indestructible Vajra Body Method, Lightning Chasing Step, Burning Sun Sword Skill, First Chapter of 72 Earthly Transformations. Oh my god, Uncle Sun 72 Earthly Transformations, shish. Calm down, Li Tang Shui, Air, Tang Li Shui, it's only the first chapter and I still have the premium cultivation voucher for later use. And it would be futile if I trade it now but I can't cultivate it right away. It will only be collecting dust in my inventory system. The best choice should be a lowest rank manual but I can cultivate it right now to quickly raise my current strength. Tang Li Shui quickly calmed herself down and suppressed her greed then continues to look at the catalog. Body Tempering Stage Secret. Uck. Sounds lame. But only this manual that fit with my current situation. Sigh. Look at this, Pangu Golden Body. Guanyin Pure Heart Sutra. Dragon Emperor's Water Controlling Method. All of them sound so cool and up but here I am choosing the worst one. Tang Li Shui even considered stealing the Body Tempering Stage Manual from Martial Repository but that place was different from the public place like the farm. Such an important place like Martial Repository should have many strong elder level people that guarding it. Then Tang Li Shui also considered asking Xiao Hei for help but thanks to her lizard mommy that warned her again and again that all humans were extremely vicious so she must always extremely cautious toward all humans and asking human cultivation manual to Xiao Hei at the time like this would only make him suspicious toward her. In the end, Tang Li Shui rejected both of those ideas and steeled her resolve to choose body tempering stage secret manual from the system. Are you sure you want to choose the body tempering stage secret manual? Yes, no. Tang Li Shui gritted her fangs and chose, yes, bang. In an instant, her mind felt like exploding when all the information about the body tempering stage secret manual rushed into her brain. This kind of knowledge injection was actually the most efficient way to transfer any manual since anyone will instantly remember everything about it in their mind and they would never forget it again unless someone powerful erasing their mind completely. Okay, let's see what this manual all about is. Connecting the energy between heaven and earth. Wait, wait, with what? USB cable, wire cable? Store the energy of heaven and earth in the body. Do you think my body is a battery or something? How the hell my body can store the energy? Use the energy of heaven and earth to temper all the body parts from inside out. Do you think my body made from iron or steel, temper, with energy? How? You must be tempering your head with a heavy hammer first before writing this kind of manual. Tang Li Shui felt an incredible urge to smash this manual writer's head so badly. She already wasted a precious, cultivation voucher. But now she can't even understand even a thing from this manual. Do you want to comprehend body tempering stage secret manual with cost 30 deity coins? Yes, no. This, so this is how to use the deity coins? Let's try it then. I have more than 2000 deity coins anyway, yes. When Tang Li Shui chose yes and spent her 30 deity coins, it was as if all the fog that covered body tempering stage secret manual in her mind instantly cleared and she could understand all of it without anything feels amiss. What a magical feeling. It feels as if I already learned all this, body tempering stage secret, before and now I only need to repeat all the process once again. Tang Li Shui breathes instantly become heavy and she immediately dashed to the nearby bookshelf inside Xiao Hei's room. She took one book randomly and opened it up. Like usual, she cannot read anything since all books were not written in English or Chinese but in a mortal world's language. Moreover, all the words like some symbol that written in the cursive font. Tang Li Shui thought in her mind that she wanted to learn this language. Do you want to comprehend Lightwind Continent's language with cost 10 deity coins? Yes, no? Yes. Once again, Tang Li Shui felt an odd feeling washed her mind, but it was different from when she received body tempering stage secret. She felt really comfortable now when the fog inside her mind cleared up. 
Tang Li Shui looked at the book content again and now she could read all of it like it was her first language that she ever learned. Oh my god. This cheating learning ability is the one I always dreaming of. Awesome. If I got this cheating learning ability in my previous life all the academicians would kneel before my learning speed. Tang Li Shui was really excited when she found out about this deity coin's true function and she wanted to take another book from the bookshelf to learn it but before she could do that. Bam! The room's door absurdly opened and Xiao Hei entered the room and he was shouldered by his two subordinates Feng Er, Second Wind, and Feng San. Third Wind, Feng Yi equals First Wind. These two people, Feng Er and Feng San were the same as Feng Yi. They were the part of Xiao Hei's personal guard that he personally trained. However, unlike Feng Yi that was already training with Xiao Hei since little like his own brother, these two only trained by Xiao Hei a few years ago. But that was not important right now because the scene in front of Tang Li Shui right now was truly made her heart screaming in panic and fright. Xiao Hei's chest cave and like something powerful hit him from his front before. Almost all of his internal organs inside his chest should be crushed. And he even bleeding from his seven aperture. What? What has exactly happened to Xiao Hei? Her Xiao Hei should be very strong. How could he become like this? Feng Er and Feng San placed Xiao Hei on his bed then they took medicine storage box from the nearby cupboard. They took several pills and feed it all to Xiao Hei that still lied down limpidly on the bed. However, before Xiao Hei could gulp all the pills down, he puked all of it out along with a huge amount of blood to the ground beside the bed. Tang Li Shui was really worried that Xiao Hei could not hold on himself any longer so she quickly ran to Feng San and pull a recovery pill out from her system inventory. She climbed into the top of the bed but cannot come closer to Xiao Hei since Feng Er and Feng San surrounded him still trying hard to stabilize Xiao Hei's condition. Tang Li Shui jumped to Feng San's shoulder this time and tried to give the recovery pill to Feng San so he could make Xiao Hei eat it. But Tang Li Shui found out something incredible instead. Xiao Bai, please do not disturb us now. Our master is in critical condition. So please go play alone at the corner of the room for now. Feng San said to Tang Li Shui but his voice has a hint of anxiousness and annoyance. Tang Li Shui dumbfounded and thought. Is this person too dumb to look at what I am holding or, I will think about it later. I must feed this, recovery pill, to Xiao Hei right away now. Tang Li Shui activated five of her perfect infiltration skill, stealth, odorless, silencer, trail cover, and lastly her, erasing presence, she turned completely invisible and undetectable then she jumped beside Xiao Hei that still lied down on the bed. Feng Er and Feng San were too occupied with Xiao Hei's critical condition now so they did not realize that Tang Li Shui's presence completely disappears from the room in that instant. Feng San opened Xiao Hei's mouth once again to feed him the medicine pills from the medicine storage box once again and Tang Li Shui took that chance to feed Xiao Hei her potent recovery pill. Now Xiao Hei already ate the recovery pill from her, she did not need to worry about him anymore. As long as Xiao Hei did not stop breathing, he would be completely recovered when the morning came. Just in a few seconds after eating, recovery pill, its efficacy already proved by itself. Xiao Hei stopped cough and the blood that keep flowing from his mouth and his other apertures also stopped. Xiao Hei's face was pale like a corpse before but now it began to regain its rosiness bit by bit. His chest that caves and also started to restore very slowly but it makes sense though since the pills need to regenerate all of his internal organs that already crushed and mend all of his bones in his chest. Feng Er and Feng San sighed in relief when they saw Xiao Hei's condition already stabilized and he already started to recover. Tang Li Shui jumped and slapped the back of Feng San's head with her tiny furry paw. When Feng San's attention shifted toward her, she started to point at Xiao Hei and pointed to herself. What happened to him? Explain it to me. Feng San already interacted with Tang Li Shui several times before like giving her food or drink when his master was too busy to take care of her and he understands that Tang Li Shui was his master favorite pet and she also very smart. It also made sense if she worried about him and asked what happened about her master. Feng San was hesitatingly looking at Xiao Hei then to Tang Li Shui back and forth. In the end, he was afraid that Tang Li Shui would make a fuss about it then throw a tantrum so he yields and told her all about it. While Feng San explained everything, Tang Li Shui listened carefully but she also experimented with something in front of him. Tang Li Shui took out several items from the system's inventory like, stamina pill, 
recovery pill, and Immortal World's newbie guide, then put it in front of Feng San's eyes. At first, Tang Li Shui was really afraid that doing this would expose her system, but she already 70 to 80% sure, so she still gritted her teeth and decided to try it in the end. And there it is. Feng San did not find anything strange and staring at Tang Li Shui as usual. All the items from the system is invisible from all the people other than me, as I expected from my op system. Another amazing feature from the system that Tang Li Shui's managed to discover, if it was another time, she would giggling and dancing happily when she discovers it. But right now she did not have any mood to celebrate or feel happy about it since Feng San's story made Tang Li Shui's very very angry. In short, Xiao He went to Elder Lin's place again today to negotiate but he did not only find Elder Lin's alone but also his fatty uncle there. Xiao He asked Elder Lin some time for a private discussion about resource distribution but Elder Lin said that the fatty uncle was his best friend and the fatty uncle also insists on listening to their discussion saying that they do not need to mind him. In the end, Xiao He forced to discuss resource distribution with Elder Lin in front of his fatty uncle. Not because his fatty uncle forced him but because Xiao He's faction was in dire need of cultivation resource since their stock almost exhausted. With that bald fatty sat so near and protecting him, Elder Lin became even more daring than before and he keeps greedily pressuring Xiao He for more made Xiao He fuming with rage. Elder Lin even said something like, what you don't like it, I never force you to give all your ingredients and materials to me. He even said, if you don't like it then scram. Ask another alchemist to concoct your pills. As the person that held the highest authority in this Asura demon sect, the patriarch, how could Xiao He not get angry in front of Elder Lin's naked provocation? Xiao He moved to slap Elder Lin's face, but with his fatty uncle sat closely beside Elder Lin, how could he, fatty uncle, let Xiao He do that to his people? That bald fatty uncle defended Elder Lin while Xiao He wanted to teach Elder Lin a lesson, so the two of them fought fiercely. But their cultivation was so far apart, Xiao He only at foundation establishment stage when his fatty uncle already at the peak of core formation stage. The fatty uncle's attack was very vicious and he really intended to kill Xiao He's for real but as the hailed genius, Xiao He would not lose so easily. He even manages to last for several tens of moves from his uncle lethal attacks before getting seriously injured. If not for Xiao He's grandfather that came so timely to stop their fight, Xiao He would already reunite with his long dead father in Netherworld now. Bloody hell! That damn bastard! How dare he injuring this queen's favorite concubine, really looking for dead? Tang Li Shui's eyes squinted dangerously as the cold aura that she emitted from her small body made even Feng San shuddered in shock. This intense cold aura and cruel expression. Why do I feel this cold aura so familiar? Oh yeah, it's almost the same as the young patriarch. Feng San thought as he slowly withdraws himself to the corner of the room out of fear. So scary, even the young patriarch's pet has the same demeanor as him. So that's why young patriarch really treasured this fox. Feng San and Feng Er thought at the same time. But Tang Li Shui did not have any time to spare for the two of them as her brain already started to think about how to take revenge for her Xiao Hei. Before hitting the dog, you must look at its owner first. Since you dare to hurt this queen's future concubine then this queen would teach you an unforgettable lesson on what is, do not want to live but cannot die, means. Feng Er and Feng San were watching over Xiao He's condition for the entire night. They even constantly checked his condition for every 10 minutes or so but they were stunned silly by Xiao He's recovery each time they checked him. Is, is this the legendary divine pills that can restore any wounds in a few hours? Young Patriarch is really an amazing person. He can even get his hands on this kind of divine medicine? Feng San held the pills bottle that he gave to Xiao He like holding precious jade and stared at it full of amazement before carefully put it back to the medicine storage box. Tang Li Shui snorted in disdain when she saw how Feng San treats that worthless medicine like a peerless treasure. But she quickly forgets about it and started to plan her next moves. Tisk. I am still so angry with that bald fatty and old Lin. Don't worry Xiao He. A gentleman said that 10 years is not too late to take revenge but this queen is a woman, not a gentleman so for this queen. 10 years is too long. This queen will promise to take revenge for you within one week. Ding. Quest. Avenger, enter Elder Bai's room and teach him a lesson that he will never forget for his entire life. Difficulty. Hard. Requirement. High infiltration skills. 
Reward. Level plus 3, plus 1, stat point plus 90, plus 2 3, skill point plus 1 8, plus 5, 150, plus 3 8, deity coins. Time remaining. 167 to 59, 46, system. It is actually only a figure speech. You know, you don't need to take it too seriously, really. Tang Li Shui was almost spurting out several liters of blood from her mouth when she saw another, hard, difficulty quest appear once again in her system after she finished one yesterday. Sigh. Whatever. Since it's true that I really want to take revenge for Xiao Hei. Then which one of them she should target first? Xiao Hei's fatty uncle? Nah, he was too cunning and strong for now. Tang Li Shui decided her first target would be that, Elder Ellen immediately. He was an alchemist so his martial arts should be sucked so badly since he was always cooping in his room to concoct pills every day. This, Elder Ellen also the main source of her Xiao Hei's resource problem. He was clearly an Asura demon sect's alchemist but he dares to refuse the patriarch's order and even rebuked him openly in front of his subordinates. However, that fatty uncle should also assign many strong people to protect that Elder Lin secretly since Elder Lin was an important asset for the fatty uncle now. Moreover, there should be also countless traps placed at Elder Lin's place to prevent any intruders. In Tang Li Shui's current state, it was almost impossible for her to successfully entering the room where Elder Lin was unnoticed. But that did not mean that Tang Li Shui has no other way to enter it. Ethereal form, if I can get, ethereal form, divine ability, I definitely can enter Elder Lin's room. Elder Lin was at formation establishment stage so Tang Li Shui cannot defeat him yet. However, she also did not have any intention to kill him with her own hands because she has a far better plan to make Elder Lin suffer. But even if Tang Li Shui managed to learn, ethereal form, divine ability soon, she also would have a new problem crop up, stamina. Tang Li Shui could only activate all five of her infiltration for two minutes more or less. If she activated, ethereal form, later, how long her current feeble stamina could hold on? One minute? Thirty seconds? or maybe even less, so Tang Li Shui's aim right now was to enhance her stamina. I have 38 skill points now. If I manage to push 4 of my infiltration skills to, mastered, level with my level 2, stealth. I only need 21 skill points to combine them into, ethereal form. I still have 17 skill points left. Enough for me to buy, greater stamina, greater defense, and, greater health. Then combine them into, innate, toughness, by all all three. You have gained greater stamina ability. You have gained greater defense ability. You have gained greater health ability. Greater stamina. LV1. Greater defense. LV1. Greater health. LV1. Can be combined into divine ability. Innate. Toughness. With cost 10 skill points. Do you want to combine them now? Yes. You have gained divine ability. Innate. Toughness. Innate. Toughness the effect of toughness status will be tripled. Ugh. With this, all my skill points saving would be depleted. But e. Wait a minute. That Lin bastard is a renowned alchemist so he should have many pills and valuable rare herbs. If I manage to take all of those when I entering his room, you wee hee 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 hee. Thus Tang Li Shui's goal added one more other than avenge her Xiao Hei. She also wanted to steal all Elder Lin's resources. Tang Li Shui decided to experiment on how long she could activate her five infiltration skills at once now while waiting for Xiao Hei to regain his consciousness. The result of the experiment even surprised Tang Li Shui herself, she thought with her new divine ability, innate toughness, that tripled her toughness status it means she could activate it for six minutes but she realized that she was wrong. She could actually activate it for almost an hour non-stop. With this Tang Li Shui's stamina problem already solved and she only needs to grind her infiltration skills to, mastered, level then combine it into, ethereal form. The next morning, Xiao Hei regained his consciousness and slowly opened his eyes. Xiao Hei slowly stood up while Feng San and Feng Er quickly went to his side and quickly held his hands to help him but Xiao Hei stopped them. Xiao Hei really astonished as he rubbed his chest that got hit by his uncle yesterday but he did not feel any hurt at all. It was almost like yesterday's defeat was just a dream but when he looked at Feng San and Feng Er worried expression, he finally confirmed that he really was defeated, critically wounded, and almost been killed yesterday. 
Then Xiao Hei remembered that the same things already happened before in the Moonlight Forest. He also almost died before in Moonlight Forest but somehow he recovered completely the next day. Xiao Hei ignored his own condition and his two subordinates then went crazy searching for something with a panicked expression on his face. The noisy sound awoke Tang Li Shui that fell asleep on the bench an hour ago. What happens, Xiao Hei? What are you searching for so early this morning? Xiao Hei sighed in relief like his heart has been freed from a huge burden when he saw Tang Li Shui was all right in front of him. But when Xiao Hei saw many of Tang Li Shui's dried blood sticking on her fur then he remembered that in Moonlight Forest before Tang Li Shui also has some dried blood sticking on her fur when they first met. In that instant, Xiao Hei felt extremely touched as his heart tightened and painful when he saw Tang Li Shui's dried blood. Xiao Hei immediately concluded that it was impossible for such a powerful healing power to not have any repercussions or backlash to the user. Xiao Hei embraced Tang Li Shui and gently pet her while saying, Silly, Xiao Bai, there is no need for you to do so much for me. Look at how much you bleed for me. Tang Li Shui puzzled at first but she immediately got it when she heard Xiao Hei's words. Er, actually, this blood is not because of you but because I formed my Dantian before, whatever just gives me more extra large roasted meats from now on away ah hey hey. But, I won't say thanks to you, Xiao Hei said while laughing after checking that she was alright and healthy like usual. Oi, are you kidding with me? At least you need to thank me for my limited potent recovery pill? Because between family members, there is no need to say any thank you, Xiao Hei gently kissed Tang Li Shui's furry forehead. After playing around with Tang Li Shui for a while then cooked some delicious roasted meats for her, Xiao Hei took closed door cultivation training in the secret room. It looks like, the fastest way for the cultivators to improve themselves was through life and death experience, was not a lie since Xiao Hei's improved like a comet each time he recovered from critical wounds such as now or in the moonlight forest before. Tang Li Shui also didn't want to waste her time to dilly-dally around so she went around training all her infiltration skills so it could reach mastered level sooner. But when she went patrolling around Xiao Hei's courtyard randomly, she noticed one of Xiao Hei's people acted rather suspiciously. Yes, he was one of the people that looking after Xiao Hei's last night, Feng Er. Tang Li Shui frowned as she quickly decided to follow that Feng Er while still she still in her stealth mode and all of her infiltration skills turned on. She can activate all of her infiltration skills including, stealth, continuously for almost one hour now anyway so she did not need to be so cheap and select a few of her infiltration skills to activate it along with, stealth, so careful to conserve her stamina like before. That Feng Er was also very cautious, he checked his surroundings several times to ascertain that no one following him then began to quicken his step but no matter how careful he was, he would never realize that there was an invisible and untraceable fox following behind him. How suspicious, is he following Xiao Hei's order to deliver a secret message now or he also, whatever, I will follow him for now, I will find out the answer in the end anyway. However, this Feng Er was not only clever but also very careful and slippery, he even made several turns at every corner almost make Tang Li Shui lost his track. Tang Li Shui gritted her teeth in anger. She began to reconsider whether she should keep follow Feng Er or give up since this guy was so slippery, she would probably lose him sooner or later if it continues like this. Follow him at all cost, how could I give up halfway like this? Tang Li Shui opened her skill list window and bought several useful skills to track Feng Er's movement. You have gained, enhanced sense of sight ability. You have gained enhanced sense of smell ability. You have gained enhanced sense of hearing ability. With, enhanced sense of smell, Tang Li Shui's nose was much sharper than a dog now. Tracking Feng Er with his scent that still lingering on the air was a piece of cake for her now. Enhanced sense of hearing, made Tang Li Shui's fox ear so sharp that she could easily hear Feng Er's almost inaudible step sound. Not to say, enhanced sense of sight, made Tang Li Shui could see each of that Feng Er's movement so clearly. With all of these new skills, Tang Li Shui could easily find Feng Er's track and silently follow him from distance. However, Tang Li Shui once again amazed with this Feng Er's cautiousness, he even sometimes stopped at the crossing and hide behind some large building several times while holding a poisonous dagger in his hand ready to kill any of his stalkers if he found any of it. In fact, if Tang Li Shui did not have all her infiltration skills plus her stealth skill, she would already be discovered by this Feng Er. 
Fortunately, each time Tang Li Shui caught up with Feng Er, he could not see her and find any of her traces so he gradually let his guard down. With her, enhanced sense of sight, Tang Li Shui managed to see Feng Er gave a tiny slip of paper to the patrolling guard that went out from the restroom secretly when they passed by each other then the two of them heading toward different directions without saying anything like they don't know each other at all. The hell, now which one I should follow, the guard or that Feng Er? After a moment, Tang Li Shui decided to follow the guard instead now, she really wanted to know, where that tiny slip of paper would end up in the end. Once again Tang Li Shui embarked on her journey to stalking people. From Feng Er to the guard, from the guard to the disciple that passing by. From that disciple to the servant that's sweeping the floor. What the hell is this? This is more like the beggar sect information network in novel or movie, right? After that servant finished sweeping the floor, he was heading to the food storage then brings a cart of food ingredients to the kitchen. Tang Li Shui that always stood near that servant realized that he inserted that tiny slip of paper inside one of the cabbages before throwing it inside the cart. In the kitchen where all of the food ingredients will be made into proper food to eat, Tang Li Shui once again keep looking after that cabbage with that tiny slip of paper inside it. Should I take that piece of paper and gave it to Xiao Hei as evidence? No, it will only alert the mastermind if it went missing suddenly, it's better if I see it first where this piece of paper will reach in the end. After that, well, I will think it later after that. When cutting all the cabbages one by one, the chef silently took out the tiny slip of paper and hid it in his sleeve. In the end, after he finished preparing all the dishes, he took out a pair of chopsticks and then pop. The chef pulled one chopstick in two and stuffed tiny slip of paper in the tiny hole inside the chopstick before he joined it back into one like before. Your mom? So the chopstick even has this kind of function, to hide the secret message? Tang Li Shui did not know that this tiny hole inside the chopstick could even be filled with deadly poison. When someone using that chopstick, the deadly poison inside would be secretly expelled out from the tip of the chopstick to the food that it touched. Imagine if all the foods already confirmed clean without any poison then which people will confirm their chopstick be free from the poison too, none. But this small trick would be useless for the people like Xiao Hei that already knew all kinds of these small tricks since little from his father and grandfather. Unfortunately, no one could probably guess that this kind of chopstick could be used to deliver secret letters like this too. Several servants took all the dishes that the chef already prepared with several trays and they went out of the kitchen. Tang Li Shui followed that several servants silently behind them with all of her infiltration skills plus her, stealth, continuously activated. Until all of the servants entered a big courtyard with a pool full of golden carps and adorned with beautiful plants. Tang Li Shui wanted to follow them and enter too but her instinct screaming her to stop so she instinctively stopped while looking at the gate with her sight that already enhanced with, enhanced sense of sight, ability. Tang Li Shui's body trembled slightly as she felt her cold sweat began to leak out from her forehead when she read the nameplate above the entrance of the large house. Mo Chongling Residence Damn, isn't this that bald fatty's house? Then that Feng Er is, another traitor. Bang, the table shattered into countless tiny powder under Mo Chonglin's palm along with all the plates and dishes on the top of that table. He ate the divine pills and recovered in one night. Damn it, I already thought that wound would not be enough to kill him but at the very least it should be enough to hinder his cultivation for a few years. Who knows that, sigh, divine pills and he even makes a breakthrough because of it now. Why, why he always so lucky? It's as if God always bless and protect him from behind. It was also the same as before when he headed into that moonlight forest. He should be dead in there but he managed to come back unscathed. Why is God never fair with me? Mo Chonglin gnashed his teeth in anger and frustration. He kept walking back and forth in his room and mumbling to himself in anxiety. Unfortunately, he would never know that his nephew actually was not protected by any god but by a female fox behind his back. While Mo Chonglin was still fuming in rage in his room, Tang Li Shui decided to walk back into Xiao Hei's courtyard instead of staying near that fatty uncle's house. Should I tell Xiao Hei about it? But, how? Sigh. Is this how the mermaid in the story feeling when she cannot talk to her prince? Wait a minute, that is wrong. Xiao Hei is my concubine, not my prince. Well, let's put it aside for now. 
since I need to level up all of my infiltration skills to mastered level then I just need to stock a few people for the next few days. Who knows that I will find several other spies or traitors and I can tell Xiao Hei all about them at once later. So in the next few days, Tang Li Shui trained all of her infiltration skills along with her, stealth, ability to stock a few people that close to Xiao Hei. And like her guess before, there were several other spies and traitors that she managed to find. Fortunately, that Feng San was still loyal to Xiao Hei. Tang Li Shui still did not catch him doing anything suspicious in these few days and along with his low IQ, Tang Li Shui concluded that this Feng San was not smart enough to betray Xiao Hei. Odorless has increased to Mastered, Stealth has increased to LB3. Trail Cover has increased to Mastered, Silencer has increased to Mastered. Erasing Presence has increased to Mastered, Jump has increased to Mastered. Surprisingly, her Jump skill also reached Mastered level along with all of her infiltration skills but her Stealth skill only level up once and Tang Li Shui concluded that if she upgraded the skill then it would become harder for her to level it up compared with unupgraded one. It will take a longer time to grind, stealth, to reach the mastered level. I already waste 4 days. I cannot wait anymore and moreover. I also need some time to familiarize myself with, ethereal form. Later, let's just combine it now. Stealth, LV3, odorless, mastered, trail cover, mastered, silencer, Mastered, Erasing Presence, Mastered, can be combined into Divine Ability, Ethereal Form, with cost 20 skill points. Do you want to combine it now? Fa, hopefully, this skill is as op as its name or it would really screw up everything, yes. You have gained Divine Ability, Ethereal Form, Ethereal Form. When activated, the user will turn invisible and the user can also pass through all solid materials or physical objects. Note 1. The damage caused by elemental object, attack would be doubled when the user in, ethereal form, ethereal form, would be cancelled if the user touched any elemental object or attacked by the elemental attack. Note 2. The user also gains passive ability, conceal, can be toggled on, off according to user preference. Other than turned invisible I can pass through all solid material now. Whoa, what a crazy op divine ability. So as long as I activate this, ethereal form, anyone can't touch me at all. And also what is this passive ability, conceal. Tang Li Shui tried to toggle, conceal, on but she was a bit disappointed in its effect. In short, this, conceal, ability was, odorless, trail cover, silencer, and, racing presence, combined into one passive ability. Well, at least this, conceal, Ability would not take any stamina from now on since it counts as passive ability now. Whatever, now, let's try how up this, ethereal form, is. Tang Li Shui activated her, ethereal form, and tried to touch the nearby vase with her tiny paw but it passed through it as if she was a ghost now. Awesome, unfortunately, it also means that I cannot touch any solid material, sigh. It also means that I cannot steal any items when I am still in this, ethereal form. Tang Li Shui tried to jump on the top of the bed and she managed to land on the bed while still in her, ethereal form. Strange, why I can stand on the top of bed if I can pass through all material objects. When she thought about that her body immediately sunk and passed through the bed then fell on the ground below the bed. E. Now I passed through the bed and dropped down to the ground. Strange, then why I can stand on the ground? Aren't ground or floor also solid object? Again when she thought about why she can't pass through the ground, her body began to sink down in the ground as if she stood on the top of the mud. Tang Li Shui quickly jumped to the top of the nearby bedside table while cancelled her, ethereal form, in a panic. Damn, so I can control where I want to stand, if I think I want to pass this table and stood on the ground then my, ethereal form, would let me pass through the table and stand on the ground. Tang Li Shui became quite afraid with this, ethereal form. When she thought, what if I failed to control this, ethereal form? Isn't it mean that I will continue to sink deeper inside the ground without any place to stand? And what will happen if I cancel my, ethereal form? When I am still inside the ground or wall, will I turn into mincemeat? Tang Li Shui's tiny body shuddered in fear and horror when she thought about all the consequences. It looks like I will need more time to familiarize myself with this, ethereal form. Then learn how to control and use it properly since I don't want something bad happened when I use it. 
For the first time Tang Li Shui learned that the stronger the divine ability was, the harder it would be to control it, and the higher the risk to use it too. Well, actually, this law was not only applicable for divine ability but any kind of power. Tang Li Shui also concluded that elemental object or attack that the system said should be about fire, water, ice, thunder, wind, and earth but since earth usually about stone or metal then it was not included, she could also use, ethereal form, to pass through water. While in, ethereal form, Tang Li Shui still could feel cold or hot so her weakness was more like heat or cold rather than some kind of object or attack. And when that heat or cold reaches a certain threshold it would capable of breaking her, ethereal form, and make her injured. After using one and a half days to familiarize and train on how to use the, ethereal form, properly, Tang Li Shui barely able to control where she would stand, and at least she would not sink into the ground or floor like before. She also tried to use the same method and touch something while in, ethereal form. But it still did not bear any result. Counting today. Tang Li Shui was already using five and a half day. She only has one and a half day to finish her quest according to the system. Since tomorrow was the last day, Tang Li Shui decided to go and visit that elder Lin's place tonight. But before that, she needed to ask some questions that always nagging her mind until now, and the one that she could ask was only her lizard mommy. So she activated her, sprint, and dashed toward that lizard fortress as fast as she can before the sky turned dark. Tang Li Shui surprised that, ethereal form, could actually activate along with her, sprint, now, unlike her previous, stealth, that would break if she activated, sprint. So it's also mean I can move faster while still stay invisible and I can even pass through every solid object that obstructing my way. That is awesome. But why do I feel I have entered the assassin's path deeper and deeper? Meh. Whatever, at least this op divine ability would make me invulnerable to physical attack. With her current breakneck speed, Tang Li Shui arrived at the fake dragon's fortress in no time. She intended to surprise the fake dragon with her arrival so she used her, ethereal form, and passed through the fortress wall only to see the fake dragon doing something disturbing. Her lizard mommy was actually doing an aerobic dance while humming, do de do de dum dum, sounds along with all of its chains clanking sounds. It actually makes something like proper music. Tang Li Shui felt as if she was struck by lightning when she saw what happened in front of her. I, I did not see anything. Let's enter from the front gate like usual. Tang Li Shui was still in her, ethereal form, so she could pass through the fortress wall once again easily to outside. Tang Li Shui's, ethereal form, was a divine ability far surpass her previous, stealth, along with her, conceal, still toggled on. It was natural that the fake dragon did not feel any of her presence and she did not even open the front gate now so she did not make any sound like usual. Tang Li Shui entered the fortress from the front gate like usual now with her, ethereal form, and, conceal, turned off. Unlike before, the fake dragon already put its usual cool majestic dragon's pose as if it's saying, I know you are coming, like usual. Little lass, it is only a few days but you already miss me ha ha ha, all right. What do you want to ask from me today? Tang Li Shui's eyes twitched a bit when she saw that the fake dragon acted as if he was doing nothing other than waiting for her to come again. Sigh, life is really full of drama. Well, I don't have much time. Let's ask it right away then. Like usual, Tang Li Shui tried to communicate with the fake dragon with her, vague and hard to understand, gesture. It took much effort until the fake dragon understood what she wanted to ask. So you want to ask how to use the spatial ring? The fake dragon put its giant claw on its chin and asked. Tang Li Shui's eyes brightened up and she nodded enthusiastically. She planned to borrow some of Xiao Hei's unused spatial rings in his room to take all the pills and the precious herbs in Elder Lin's place later. It's impossible, forget about a savage beast like you, even a demonic beast like me cannot use it. The fake dragon said nonchalantly but its words shattering Tang Li Shui's plan made her wanted to kill herself, air, it was totally wrong. She always loves herself the most so, she wanted to kill somebody else so badly, would be more precise. Wait a minute, I also have a Dantian like humans now, is it really no other way for me to use it? Tang Li Shui stared at the fake dragon full of doubt and contempt. Hey, 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 what do you mean with that stare? You don't believe in my words? Listen up, little lass. The way to open a spatial ring is by using qi. 
and the species that could use chi are only humans, a demonic beast like me uses vitality energy. Do you understand now? The fake dragon was a little angry and explained more clearly this time. What a headache. So I need chi to open the spatial ring and put some items inside it. To be able to use chi I need to reach chi condensation stage first. Sigh. If only system inventory could be used to store any items other than the items from the system then I don't need to be this anxious. Yes, Tang Li Shui already tried it several times before. She tried to store several items into her system inventory but it was futile. The system inventory could only be used to store the items from the system itself. As for reaching the Qi condensation stage, at first, Tang Li Shui was really happy when she gained her Dantian and she also used deity coins to comprehend body tempering stage secret. Tang Li Shui already had everything she needed to start her cultivation path. Unfortunately, cultivation was actually harder than everyone that read Wuxia's novel could imagine. Each time Tang Li Shui cultivating and trying to use the energy of heaven and earth to temper her body, its difficulty was as if she was trying to solve 100 questions about advanced calculus and she cannot make any mistake or she would be injured as punishment. She did not even manage to reach the first rank body tempering stage after cultivating body tempering stage secret in these few days. Every wuxia novels and all of its op protagonists that could advance their cultivation as easy as eating is bolsh tea. Tang Li Shui cursed in her mind. Tang Li Shui was still busy, tossing and turning her brain to think a new plan on how she could rob, air, to take back Xiao Hei's resources from Elder Lin's place while bullying. I mean punishing him at the same time. Actually, air, are you really in dire need to use the spatial ring? What are you planning to use it for? Is it that important? The fake dragon asked while still hesitant about something. Tang Li Shui raised her furry head and stared at the fake dragon. She immediately detected the fake dragon's hesitation. Does this fake dragon have something similar like the spatial ring in its possession that can be used by even the beasts? Tang Li Shui's eyes squinted up as she waved her tiny paws upwards like a street thug asking for money from the passerby. The fake dragon lowered its head and took out a tiny pouch from the back of its head with its giant claw. The fake dragon lowered its claw that held the tiny pouch slowly but it's still clearly hesitant to give it to Tang Li Shui. Tang Li Shui felt very annoyed with how this fake dragon's act so she jumped up and forcefully took the small pouch from it. Her smooth action was really like a female thug that took the money by force from the passerby now. That, that is my space pouch made from the demonic beast's skin that has space-type divine ability. It is countless times more expensive and rare than any human spatial ring. I, I only have one so I only let you borrow it. Do not forget to give it back to me after you finish using it. The fake dragon anxiously reminded Tang Li Shui again and again. Tang Li Shui nonchalantly waved her paws then went out from the fortress. The fake dragon did not know if she tried to say, go away, don't worry, or goodbye. It could only hope that Tang Li Shui would give its precious space pouch back later. Tang Li Shui put the small space pouch on her neck like a necklace then went back to Xiao Hei's courtyard to wait for the sky turned dark. Tang Li Shui also experimented with her new space pouch and store several chairs and tables inside then pull it all out then store it again and again. Awesome! This pouch is like a spatial ring but I do not need to use any chi to store any items inside it. This is more like the future cat robot's pouch nyahahaha. Tang Li Shui tried to activate her ethereal form and her space pouch also went invisible like her body. E, so when I activate my ethereal form, this space pouch is also following me and become ethereal too. But, why? So strange, since it's also solid material then should it pass through my body like another solid object? Plop, when Tang Li Shui started to think about it, the invisible space pouch passed through her body that was still in ethereal form, then dropped onto the ground, its invisibility also cancelled and it went back to the usual space pouch like before. Headache, so it went back to how good her control over this, ethereal form. In the end, the same as how she could choose to stand on the top of the table or to pass through it and drop down to the ground. There's no doubt that this, ethereal form, was a super op divine ability but it also put too much emphasis on great control, calculation, prediction, experience then countless trial and error to make it a fearsome ability. But from this, Tang Li Shui concluded that the smaller or lighter the items were, the easier for her to carry it with her when she activates her ethereal form. 
Since Tang Li Shui already trained herself on using ethereal form for a few days, she only needs a few minutes to adapt it and let her space pouch follow her when she activated her ethereal form. Now Tang Li Shui only needs to wait until the sky went dark since she did not have any other work. She could only absent-mindedly look at her skill list window looking for some useful abilities that she would be needed later amongst thousands of them. Come to think about that traitor Feng Er, what should I do next? Tell Xiao Hei about her. Meh. The key problem is actually not how I should tell him, but would he believe what I will tell him later? Think about it. If a wild fox that you have found from the forest a month ago told you that your trusted person was actually a traitor, would you believe it? Of course not. Even if Xiao Hei half believe in her words and keep his distance from that Feng Er, would he believe it if she also told him that several people by his side was actually spies or traitor too? Again, no. Then let's imagine if Xiao Hei believes her words once again then what? He would only search for some evidence before executing them. Not looking down on her Xiao Hei but with that cunning uncle of his. It was almost impossible for Xiao Hei to find any concrete evidence about them being his uncle spies even if Xiao Hei flipped all their houses upside down. Headache, wait a minute. Tang Li Shui that lazily lying down on the bed before suddenly stood up as she realized something. I am so stupid, there is no need for me to make the move first for now. Think about it, if I manage to succeed in my quest this time and I also manage to take all the resources in Elder Lin's possession, that bald fatty would probably go insane in panic. He would instructing all of his subordinates and spies to find out who is the one that took his resources. If at that time I tell Xiao Hei about it, you wee hee hee hee, then we can easily find some irrefutable proofs of them being the spies and traitors of that bald fatty in one single swoop. Bam! Tang Li Shui slammed her tiny paws on the bed in excitement but she forgot that she still opened her system's skill list window in front of her so she accidentally slammed her paw onto it. You have gained shared expressibility. Damn. I make a mistake. What the hell with this useless skill? Sigh. Whatever. It just one skill point anyway. E.H. It took five skill points to buy it? So expensive only for this useless skill? F.C.K. I just wasted my precious skill points for nothing. Tang Li Shui felt very irritated but she forced herself to calm down and check the new skill that she accidentally acquired just now. Shared Express Status Level 100% Cultivation 0% What the hell is this? Wait a minute, don't tell me that this is. Tang Li Shui's breathes heavier as she tried to set the Shared Express parameter with her trembling tiny paw. Shared Express Status Level 0% Cultivation 100%. IT works. Now let's rob. Cough, cough. Elmin let's take a patrol to maintain justice. With Tang Li Shui's current strength, she was the small tyrant for all outer disciples. Even Xing Wu that already at the peak of body tempering stage was beaten by her to the point his martial soul shattered and he would need a few years to recover his wounded soul. Fighting for cultivation resources would always happen in every part of every sect so it did not take long for Tang Li Shui to rob. Air. To stop some outer disciples from fighting while confiscated their body tempering pills as their punishment. Tang Li Shui took the bottle full of body tempering pills back to Xiao Hei's room. Please, let this work, or I will be damned if I must cultivate step by step like normal people. Tang Li Shui popped the body tempering pills one by one into her mouth. Express gained, express gained, express gained. Tang Li Shui sighed in disappointment when she did not manage to have any breakthrough in her cultivation after almost consumed all of the body tempering pills. Sigh, so it's only my imagination huh? What a pity. I thought that this, shared express, would give my express to my cultivation rather than to my level. But when Tang Li Shui popped the last body tempering pill into her mouth. Bang, congratulation. Your cultivation breakthrough to rank 1 body tempering stage. Yes. Check status. Species. Moon fox. Dantian. Grade. Common. Level 2. Samaritan. Cultivation level. Rank 1 body tempering stage. Cultivation technique. Body tempering stage secret manual. Martial arts. None divine ability. Mirror of the moon. Ice bolt. Innate. Agility. Innate. Toughness, ethereal form. Stats, HP. 14,500, 14,500 strength. 120, plus 30, agility. 
160, plus 30. Toughness, 60, plus 30. Skills, rip, LV2, sharp claws, LV2, sprint, LV2, identify, LV5, herbalism, LV3, jump, mastered, night vision, LV2, enhanced sense of sight, LV3, enhanced sense of hearing, LV3, enhanced sense of smell, LV3, shared express, LV1, stats point, 259 skill point, 7, item, immortal world's newbie guide, 5 by 2 times express card, 1 hour, 1x substitution doll, 5x recovery pill, 5x stamina pill, 1x bad luck sticker, 2x greater lucky sticker, 1x bronze lottery ticket, 4x silver lottery ticket, 1x premium cultivation voucher, 2158 deity coins, level 20 intermediate gift package. All stats plus 30 not bad at all. If I reach the peak of body tempering stage that means I would get all stats plus 300. Awesome. I wonder why Ching Wu is not as op as me. The answer was simple because not all people would get stat boost as many as her since she cultivates body tempering stage secret manual from the system after all. The stats boost that she gets from that manual was actually the maximum stats boost that the body tempering stage cultivator can get when they are in that stage. Of course, since there had a pro, there also had a con. The cons were that this body tempering stage secret manual actually very hard to cultivate. This was also why Tang Li Shui stuck in her cultivation all this time. But my toughness still lacking and I can only maintain, ethereal form, for 10 minutes or so, let's raise it then. Tang Li Shui put 100 of her free stat points into her toughness stats increased it to 160. She was originally planned to raise her toughness stats so she can get more stamina to sustain her, ethereal form, but who knows that. HP. 28,500 28,500 Holy shit. 28,500. Muahahahaha. Who dare to say that Fox is fragile now? I, the future queen of Moonlight Forest is now as tanky as those giant demonic beasts. Muahahahaha. Actually, her current high HP was mostly thanks to her, innate. Toughness, divine ability that tripled her toughness stats but when she added 100 points it did not mean that her HP increase would almost triple from the previous amount too since her HP also increased during her level up and not all of it come from her toughness stats. Without her knowing the sky was already dark outside so Tang Li Shui activated her, ethereal form, and, sprint, then dashed toward Elder Lin's residence. The current Tang Li Shui was already quite strong compared to before so she was a bit underestimate this current, hard, difficulty quest but she actually forgot something very very important. The system always calculated and adjusted the difficulty with the current circumstance along with Tang Li Shui's current strength and her growth. So if the system judged that the quest was, hard, difficulty for Tang Li Shui then it means no matter how strong she became it would still, hard, for her to complete it. Unfortunately. The current Tang Li Shui still did not realize this fact and measure this Elder Lin's hard difficulty quest as the same difficulty as the farm exploration from before and she would surely regret it later. Pitter, patter, pitter, patter. The rain began to fall from the night sky when Tang Li Shui arrived at Elder Lin's residence. Elder Lin's residence was actually no less luxurious and big than Xiao Hei's uncle. It was also signified how important Elder Lin in that fatty uncle's eyes. Not only that, but the number of guards placed at this Elder Lin's place was also simply astounding. As I expect from that cunning uncle, he must be afraid that Xiao Hei sent some assassins to take revenge against Elder Lin or steal the abundant resources from Elder Lin's place. Unfortunately, all of these guards are useless against me. Yu wee hee hee hee. Although the rain was still pouring down heavily, it did not affect Tang Li Shui's movement or her ethereal form, divine ability at all. With her, enhanced sense of sight, plus her, night vision, she did not have any difficulty moving with high speed in the dark. Moreover, she also supported by her, enhanced sense of hearing, and, enhanced sense of smell, for detection. In fact, she already discovered several black-clothed men hiding in the shadow. Of course, all of these black-clothed people's intentions were not to assassinate Elder Lin, on the contrary, all of them must be fatty uncle's shadow guards that assigned to guard Elder Lin secretly. Mufufufu, patrolling guards. 
Useless. Pass. Tang Li Shui dashed past through all the patrolling guards effortlessly. Shadow guards hiding in the shadow? Easy, pass. All the hiding shadow guards can't even see and feel her presence so how could they stop Tang Li Shui? So once again, Tang Li Shui passed them easily. Huh, are those traps? Peefed. Such an old-fashioned trap. That's futile, pass. There were several very thin silk wires connected with several bamboos. The purposes of these traps were that if the intruder accidentally touched it would make loud sounds to alarm all the guards. However, Tang Li Shui could even pass through the solid wall with her, ethereal form. Let alone this kind of traps. So Tang Li Shui once again passed through all of them like the wind. Each time she passed an obstacle, Tang Li Shui's confidence became more and more swelling, in the end, she felt too complacent and it would be proof to be fatal in this kind of delicate quest just like now because one small mistake would be enough to mess it all up. E, what is that? Another trap? No problem, P.A. Ah. Tang Li Shui only looked at other thin silk wires several meters in front of her but before she reached there, her tiny furry body dropped down. Whoosh, plop, another classic trap, deep trap hole full of sharp spikes. Fortunately, Tang Li Shui was still in her cheat-like, ethereal form. Mode so all of those sharp spikes passed through her body harmlessly. Tisk, another old trap. But how could I didn't find it before? Illusion, they are using an illusion to cover it now. Tisk, tisk. Now how could I go back to the surface? Even my, jump, skill cannot reach that high. In the end, Tang Li Shui decided to buy, climb, skill from her system that cost her another one skill point then used it to climb back up from the deep hole to the surface. Hi yes, maybe it will be easier if I infiltrate from the front gate using my, ethereal form, rather than sneaking from the backside like now. Whatever, it is already too late to turn back now. I already entered too deep into his courtyard. Rather than taking the detour, I prefer to face it head on since it is faster and saving more time. Tang Li Shui could only sustain her, ethereal form, for less than 30 minutes so she knew she must be quick. Rather than dilly-dally around being too careful and waste too much time, let's just push it through bravely forward, charge. Tang Li Shui's dashed forward to Elder Lin's residence with her full speed along with her, sprint, and, ethereal form, activated. Uck. Climb. Again. Charge. Hoog. Climb. Again. Charge. She dropped down into several trap holes again and again but she did not mind it at all and climb back up again and again. Fortunately, there are no traps like landmines, or I will be really damned. Actually, there are the traps like landmines in that courtyard but the mechanism was a bit different from her previous world. It was called, Exploding Talisman, and as its name suggested, it would explode if someone touched it. Fortunately, Tang Li Shui always have her, ethereal form activated at all times since she entered this elder Lin's courtyard so all the traps that required touching to trigger it like exploding talisman were not triggered until now if not she would probably be torn into pieces or exploded into dust already. Hosh, 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 at, last, finally, I, arrived. Tang Li Shui was running past through the wall in front of her then she immediately slumped down in exhaustion as she breathes more heavily than before after that. But even after she lied down on the floor for a few minutes, she still could not alleviate her exhaustion. In fact, she became even more exhausted since her, ethereal form, still chipping her stamina bit by bit each second passing. In Tang Li Shui's prediction, she should be moving around in her, ethereal form, for less than 10 minutes but under constant extreme situations like tonight when she needed to use, night vision, climb, and, sprint, along with her several enhanced sense skills continuously. Tang Li Shui realized for the first time that she was too overestimating herself. Tang Li Shui gritted her teeth and decided to check her surroundings first. It seems she entered a big room full of tall bookshelves that filled with countless books from new to old. I am in the library now, huh, should I rest for a bit here? However, Tang Li Shui did not know why but her feeling became even more unsettled even when she knew that she was in the library and not in some tightly guarded room now. Tang Li Shui observed her surrounding carefully, it was very dark in this library but with her, night vision, she could saw everything as clear as day. While walking around and observe, 
Tang Li Shui's mind was still thinking for the reason why that bald fatty placed so many efforts in protecting this place now. Tang Li Shui squinted her fox eyes when she thought the reason. That bald fatty probably put all of his rare precious herbs and materials here so Elder Lin could concoct all of them into pills for all the people in his faction. That is the only reason why he placed all of his people here to guard this place even going as far as putting those dangerous traps. Tang Li Shui smirked as her confidence shone in her expression. Then this is a gamble between Xiao Hei's uncle and me. Yes, this was a gamble between them. If Tang Li Shui really managed to rob all the resources in this Elder Lin's place and get her revenge to that Elder Lin then she would deal a very heavy blow not to that Elder Lin but also to that fatty uncle and his faction at once. Flipping the situation between Xiao Hei and his uncle in one move, in a single night. Of course, it was not easy at all since her movement also limited by the time. She only has several hours to find Elder Lin and to take all of those resources into her pouch. If not, the morning will come and it would make her harder to move around and who knows if that cunning fatty uncle would come here too in the morning. And Tang Li Shui also did not have any information about this residence's blueprint, not even one bit. So she must explore all the rooms in this residence one by one to find where Elder Lin was and where he stored all of his resources. Sigh. Headache. Also which direction am I heading now? East, west, south, or north? Arg. This place is really making me crazy and I am very tired now. I want to go rest so badly.